Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. We cast our crowns before the highest royalty. I am undone before your glorious majesty. I cast my crown before the highest royalty. I am undone before your glorious majesty. One more time. I cast my crown before the highest royalty. I am undone before your glorious majesty. You're the King of kings and Lord of lords. You are the King. Hey, you're the King of kings and Lord of lords. Your glorious majesty. You're the King of kings and Lord of lords. You are the Lord, 
Spirit of the living God tonight, we have come, we came believing, we came trusting, we came expectant, believing that you are able to lift us, you are able to open our eyes, you are able to show us your ways. I pray, O oh God, that tonight our hearts will be greatly edified. I pray that no one who has come here tonight will leave disappointed. We decree and declare that there is the hearing of faith and even the working of miracles. And we vow tonight as always that you will take the glory and that you alone will be lifted in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Please be seated. Please be seated. It's good to have everyone again. I trust that tonight we will have some time to pray. We didn't do justice to our prayer last week. Amen. Um, we're to take come up here part two, but I'm suspending that tonight. We can take that next week. The Lord put something in my heart that I think is very, very powerful that we must listen to. And then we pray. Amen. Every time God sends his word, his word comes with power, his word comes with healing, deliverance, and hope. Praise the Lord. This afternoon, the Lord showed me something that it's important we discuss and then we pray about every once and again um, our assignment is not only to prepare sermons but to be discerning enough to see what God is saying and to understand what he is doing per time the Bible talks about the sons of Issachar they had understanding of the times and they knew what Israel ought to do. Praise the Lord. While I was just putting together this that the Lord uh, would have me share tonight, um, I got a text message that for me was again a confirmation. And um, there's a lot going on in our world and in our society that is important. We 
are alive to it we understand it and then we pray there is a growing trend of frustration please listen very carefully of depression and exhaustion these three words the holy spirit used speaking to me frustration depression and exhaustion to be exhausted and the lord told me that these are spirits that have been sent to the body even at such a time as this to shortchange many people from stepping into the fullness of god's word and god's purposes in their lives even for this season and so my my exhortation tonight as we pray is going to deal with two categories of people please listen number one those who are severely under attack in their lives in this season if you belong to this category i have a word for you tonight that there are people there are families there are individuals who it looks like they are in very very trying seasons of their lives where all hell has broken loose over that individual over that family and it's important for you to be guided on the steps to take even to victory number two those who um, are not necessarily attacked but they are going through phases in their lives that are nothing unusual as far as greatness and destiny is concerned it's important that we are used by God to help you interpret the happenings in your life so that you are not like them who are void of understanding. It is important that believers mature into understanding times, seasons, and the dealings of the spirit that comes with all of those times. Are we together now? So we're going to deal with these two categories of people. Can you lift your voice in one minute again and ask the Lord for understanding? Father, grant me understanding grant me understanding grant me understanding hallelujah amen please pay attention those following online pay attention if you know someone who belongs to these categories even if not you please pay attention for their sake hallelujah there are not many things that can discourage a christian please listen carefully um, but the few things that can discourage a christian when they are there and they remain the effect of their presence can be disastrous i have identified two major um, issues if i would say that discourage christians number one is on answered prayer there's almost nothing more frustrating to a believer who genuinely loves god as a tragedy of unanswered prayer that people lift up their voice to heaven believing that god is alive releasing all their faith as much as they know and then not getting the answer that should be number two is an unfruitful christian life an unfruitful christian life that means that when your life with time is void of certain evidences that should be testaments of your service your work to for god it's very very frustrating when a believer gets born again and opens up his heart serving the lord giving his best and then with time cannot see um, the evidences there are evidences testaments that help us and help believers around us to appreciate the hand of God upon our life. So unanswered prayers and then an unfruitful Christian life. Now write this down, please. There is a goal. Let me start with those who are severely
being attacked by the gate of hell there is a goal there is an object behind every attack of satan listen carefully that every time hell launches an attack on an individual on a ministry on a family on a couple there is something behind the thinking of the devil and his cohorts and the bible did not leave us in the dark as to what satan is really looking for and if you do not understand then you will continually be defeated by all of the the attacks of satan the first goal behind every attack the first thing the devil seeks to achieve is to destroy your confidence in god and the integrity of his word please never forget this that every time the devil attempts to attack a believer he is attempting to attack your confidence in god and the integrity of his word what satan is really attacking is the integrity of god's word what satan is attacking is your confidence in god the bible says to cast not away your confidence why because it has a great recompense of reward are we together your confidence in god i don't know if i've shared it here but i remember i was in just for a meeting when i met a gentleman who was talking to me about his dad and he told me his dad was once a reverend in one of these great denominations around and having been frustrated repeatedly in the field the man not only turned away from god he made up his mind that he was going to move to another faith entirely he was so frustrated no school fees for his children no meaning for his life nothing seemed to work and he said look i've served this god i've preached about this god but i'm going to have to stop lying to myself it does not work you will think that you may never get to a point where you can consider this let me tell you something life has a way of pushing a man a family an individual to a point where you will doubt the reality of God was it not John the Baptist under pressure who said go and ask him if he's the Messiah or should we expect another for John to be thinking of another as the person who ordained Jesus he should tell you what situations and circumstances can do are we together so your confidence in God and the integrity of his word number two the goal of every attack is to introduce the spirit of fear this subject of fear is very 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 important you will be amazed at how many believers have been utterly destroyed because they became the victims of fear the bible says the righteous are as bold as a lion there is a reason why he says that fear is terrible it's a destructive spirit every other spirit stands in the line waiting for fear to open the door no other spirit can open any door that fear does not open failure waits for fear to open the door death waits for fear to open the door discouragement waits for fear all the spirits line up with the potentials of the havoc they can wreck but then they wait for fear a man who conquers fear has conquered many spirits automatically the bible says and to deliver them who through fear the fear of death now have all their lifetime been subject to bondage praise the lord fear believers live in fear fear of the unknown fear of this and that and that and that today you see young people even teenagers having high blood pressure this is something that a teenager should have no business with ordinarily but fear 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 of the future how will tomorrow be how will this happen how will that happen 
and that fear creates a lot of worry Matthew chapter 6 Jesus took out time to teach and explain again and again on the fruitlessness of worry he said which of you by worrying can add even a cubit to his hair he said consider the lilies of the valley consider the birds of the air they break a fundamental law of sowing and reaping yet your father your heavenly father is benevolent enough to make sure they are not hungry please listen very carefully sooner or later in your christian experience hell will be interested in you i guarantee you except you do not love the lord and you do not keep growing a time will come when the impacts that you continue to make will attract the attention of hell who is this young man who wants to rise and do what has never been done in this family for as long as you remain down that's all right but then you you it's like a it's like a spiritual thermometer there is a level when you rise to you attract the attention of hell and they say what is going on here if we allow this young moses he can tomorrow be the deliverer do not take the baby for granted kill him while he's a baby don't allow him grow the potentials of his growth can be dangerous and so discouragement comes discouragement so many believers listen so many families have had especially in this time that we live in their faith shaken discouraged students are discouraged workers discouraged graduates discouraged pastors discouraged church members you know it looks like there is this air of discouragement and depression when you say praise the lord people cannot say hallelujah in their minds they say for what hallelujah comes from the word halal yeshua praise the one who saves that's what it means you say where is the salvation that i should praise him talk to an average believer about god he will prefer you talking about rapture than talking about the faithfulness of god don't mention that word faithful to him because he tells you i don't know what you are talking about that reality is foreign to my experience i do not yet know god as faithful faithful means keeping to your word faithful means justifying your integrity at all times please listen very carefully so believers have been attacked here and there and they think that the attack listen they think the attack is just on them just because they are christians or just because the devil does not want them to have a job or have a child and so on and so forth listen the devil is looking more than you he's he's trying to use you to make a statement to god that you are not faithful so when you read scriptures like since i was young and now i am old he says i have never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed beg for bread and you think of all your family members in light of this he said but this is a lie this is not true foreign to my experience and when the devil wants to make the statement stronger he will handpick serious believers he knows the impact listen the discouragement of a serious believer has more impact than that of a believer that is not serious someone who is not serious with god if he tells you things are not working you tell him what did you ever engage i mean we we watched you in in all that laziness no prayer no nothing but when a brother who has been a prayer warrior serving in church when a sister who has been serving faithfully in church two years three years no child four years no child then she now gets pregnant and everybody begins to rejoice then at the fifth or sixth month she will lose the baby in a way that can cause a problem listen carefully that impact another believer will now say my god what is this if you don't listen to what i'm telling you a time will come you will not see the need to continue again there are many believers who are sitting down but they've left god since they are just coming to church because they know if you don't see him in church you say i didn't see you here yesterday but the truth is that their hearts are not with god again they they are not yet bold enough to go to a harvest but you can be sure one leg is already coming out of the things of god and that includes preachers 
the frustration of fasting and praying for genuine spiritual power going around and emptying my accounts in need for impartation only to return back with nothing that shows i was called when an aspect of your life has results and then another aspect does not have results you can at least find consolation listen but when every area of your life lacks result, it's a cause for concern. Usually it will not disturb you till other brethren start saying, but why is this so? An attack on your confidence in God. You started your Christian experience loving God. You made bold and audacious statements about God. And while you made that statement, hell kept quiet like they didn't hear you. I will never leave the Lord no matter what happens. I will stand for him. I will stand by him. It doesn't matter. And now five years without a child. And you don't have the courage to make the same statement you made ten years ago. I will never give anybody bribe to get a job. Remember you said it. And now here is a job that can reward you only if you can fish out 150,000 you can pay it back in a month your integrity is at stake you made a statement that you will never bribe but jobs continue to pass you again and again until the day your loved ones look at you and say you are a foolish portrait of a believer watching you is a discouragement to me at first you would think that it did not touch you until you sit later on and say, but God, are you not watching? And then heaven is silent. Are we together? When believers do not get results, they are vulnerable. When believers do not get results, they are vulnerable. Please listen to me when believers consistently do not get results they are vulnerable they are put in a position where the the faithfulness of god seems to be an issue that they that is worth debating about behind every attack is the desire to challenge your confidence in god is your desire to challenge the integrity of God's word. Hallelujah. I got a text this afternoon about um, a gentleman who killed himself or so. I, I heard the story that there was a gentleman who killed himself. And if I'm right, I was told that the gentleman's brother or relative also killed himself. Now imagine, please, ladies, Imagine that you gave birth to children who killed themselves, not that they died, not a car accident, not sickness. You left your child hugging your child in the morning and say, make sure I see you in the evening. And then you see people running somewhere and you join them thinking it's someone else's child. And there you see your child and the testimony is that he killed himself. Think of what society will do to you. Think of what other women will say about you say this woman must have been wicked it means that you do all kinds of things sometimes it seems like death is better than living this is why people have the courage to kill themselves and if you ignore a man that killed himself and don't help other people very soon an entire area will begin to kill themselves it's a spirit, but I've taught you how spirits work. They don't come and work with nothing. There is a raw material. They use your frustration as a raw material. They use your depression as a raw material. They create a, they, they create a system around your frustration. And that becomes the entry and the access point to your life. But we have come tonight to call the devil a liar. In the name of Jesus Christ. It says, but I know whom I have believed. Hallelujah. And I am persuaded. Listen to me. It is important. I will continue to teach this here, Koinonia. It is important 
the depth of your spiritual foundation. Remember my teaching a few weeks ago? That the deeper and the more solid your foundation, the more unbending you will be in the face of unfavorable situation. There are people who have dug so deep, they have become like Paul. For me to live is Christ and to die is gain. What shall separate us from the love of God? And then he begins to list a lot of things. Shall persecution, shall famine, shall A, B, and C. Frustration. And then the spirit of fear. You look around and see fear all over people's eyes. Fear. Financial fear. Marital fear. Fear of children. Fear of raising children. It will be very irresponsible of any preacher and any man of God to ignore these truths, especially in light of the realities that are in our world today. When people begin to hang themselves, when people begin to run away in discouragement, go to the hospitals, go to the psychiatric wards, and see all kinds of people, young people, talking to themselves out of depression and frustration. Something is wrong. There has to be a people who will rise and say, Satan, you are a liar. Jesus is still on the throne and our, conviction, our convictions will not shake, we will not bend. Say, I reject fear. Say it again. Say, I reject fear. One more time. Say, I reject fear. Fear is a spirit. Reject it. Open your mouth in one minute. I reject fear. You are a spirit. I may not know everything about tomorrow, but I know the one who holds tomorrow. Hallelujah. He holds tomorrow. I reject fear. I reject fear. I reject fear. Fear is a spirit and all spirits are received. Any spirit that is received can be rejected. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of love, the spirit of power and of a sound mind. Fear of excelling in ministry. Fear of marriage. Fear of children. Fear of the future of children. Fear of finances. How can I tell if I will live to see tomorrow? How can I tell if I will not die in a ghastly motor accident tonight? Hmm. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Please look up. The believer who will never allow his confidence to be shaken and a believer who refuses to receive the spirit of fear that is the believer that will weary satan to victory literally that you can weary the devil with your convictions that regardless of what happens around you you can stand in faith and say my confidence lord more than ever i trust you more than ever i love you more than ever i will follow you as for me and my house when a husband loses his job in one day by the next month the wife loses her job by the third month the child loses admission or something and three of them are seated with a bible in the midst of them full of many promises and then they do not know what to do let me tell you something my brothers and sisters at that time heaven is watching even as hell is also watching those who will not curse God because of their pain if your pain will make you curse God you are small if your pain makes you curse God you are weak if your pain makes you curse God your foundation is not deep enough are we together 
Job's life kept being manipulated so that he will find offense in God. Even his wife said, look, Mr. Man, this is too bad. Curse God and die. Curse God and die. While I was still preparing this note this afternoon, one of our precious ladies in the worship team just sent me a text and said, they just told me my father has gone to be with the Lord. I'm sure she woke up this morning preparing with her colleagues to celebrate the faithfulness of God tonight, only to receive a report in a year of extraordinary fruitfulness that your father has died. Are we together now? Yes. There is a couple, I don't know if they were able to make it here, but I'll be very impressed if they made it. The devil has attempted to challenge the husband and the wife again and again and again. And that man of God in his resilience, he said something that touched me one time while we were talking. He said, I will never be discouraged and I will never find fault in God. God is faithful. This is the language that moves heaven. That the devil says, can't you curse God? Are you blind? You still maintain your integrity and say God is alive? I got so many text messages from our young ones who wrote jam. Apostle, I've heard you change people's jam. This is what I got. This is what I want to get. Pray. And they send sometimes more than 10 times that text. I believe I will die believing God is a miracle worker. But the question is, what if it does not change? <laughs> you don't like this part of God. What if it does not change? What happens to you when your expectation does not come to pass? What happens when what you saw in your vision does not manifest physically. What happens when God tells you by March you are a millionaire and by March you don't even have a job? Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. You are eating this bread because the journey is far. Man of God, what happens when you start ministry with a lot of zeal? Assurances from financial partners. Just start, we are here. We believe in your vision. We will stand by you to the end. Four months, they say we've tried. Don't come near us for that rent again. I confess to you, my brothers and my sisters, that life can be very trying life can be trying to the point that even jesus would cry at gethsemane and say being in the flesh i thought it would be easier but now i've carried the burden of men and even as the son of god i confessed that men are trying surviving the betrayals and the pain surviving the nakedness and the shame now alone praying in gethsemane jesus wept prayed till his tears became like drops of blood is god blessing you today there is a reason behind the attack that has come is currently on you or is on the way coming let me tell you this <laughs> There are many believers who convince themselves that they are not creating any trouble. It's the reason why they never get serious with God because they hope that the devil will be busy attacking the Joshua Selmans who are causing trouble. Don't practice the foolishness of Esther. Mordecai told Esther that this plot is for all of us. It's just broken in faces. Phase one is for those outside the palace, but phase two will catch up with you. For as long as you have named the name of Christ, let me tell you, you have made yourself an arch enemy to Satan. And he will come. I assure you. Jesus is fasting 
for 40 days and 40 nights he's done fasting and the first personality he meets is satan and hear what the bible says he departed for a season for a what season that means i'm coming i don't mean to scare you but i'm opening you up to the reality of living he's coming it's not only god that is coming maranatha is not just for god alone satan too is coming satan just like faith cometh is it not in your bible the thief cometh he doesn't have to be invited the thief cometh to every family he will come to every ministry he will come to every life please hear me he will come oh apostle i've been enjoying my life everything has been wonderful keep going keep going the world is not too large for his presence to reach satan is an expert in mobility he testified his expertise in mobility before god where are you coming from he said from to and fro the earth that's not a problem i can voyage as many times as it will take to meet you he will come let your finances begin to glorify god he will come let your children begin to glorify god he will come insult me today and thank me years later but you must listen let your ministry begin to glorify god he will come hmm. let your life begin to glorify god he will come let your home begin to glorify god he will come I think it was last week or so I had the opportunity to counsel a couple I could not believe when they told me the antecedents of their marriage and the level of of love and passion and friendliness they had I could not believe that a couple who were disbonded today would be looking for a divorce I said what, what was so bad that you want to go out Man of God, I've said my own. We didn't come here to debate. It's a conclusion we have made. I said, take it easy. There has to be a way. Hmm. Life, ba. If you don't know God, one day you will sit down on the road and say, before life kills me, let me kill myself. When you see people do foolish things, don't think they were born foolish. Are we together? when people go and buy this rat poison what they call it and add it to rice and turn it to eat and die they are not stupid people there is a way life can push you huh as a lady when a man has done your traditionals has done everything the invitation letter has come out and then he just looks at you and casually says i don't feel like doing it again because somebody told me you are a witch Go and tell your father they can go with the dowry. I'm gone. At that point, you would think you would smile and say, oh, no problem. What is there? God told you to live my life. You, you will cry and not know what direction to turn to. It is true that life can push you. It is true that life can challenge you. Recently, I had a conversation with a man that broke me. I was going to pray for the man. True story. And the man looked at me and said, Apostle, let me finish the story. He said, as I'm talking to you right now, my beloved wife is in the mortuary. I don't even have the money to go and bury her. I'll not mention tribe, but he comes from a region where burial is not something that comes easy. And the man was just smiling. I said, your wife is dead. He said, yes, sir. Dead. My wife. I stood before everybody to exchange vows. We agreed to grow old together. Now she's gone. You think they didn't pray to raise that body back? The guy I'm talking to you is a born again and tongue talking Christian. What happens? You see, I've been to the mortuary many times, my brothers and sisters. As a man of God, you can imagine what happens when people die. I've been to the mortuary. They have closed me and left me with dead bodies in a mortuary. Alone. 
Why? Because they believe I'm anointed. And I believe I'm anointed. And I stood before a dead body that would not listen to me. Wake up in the name of Jesus. And the body is looking. There are times when life will act like that dead body. Hmm. There are times when your finances will act like that dead body. There are times when your marriage can act like that dead body. There are times when everything around your life can act like that. Please listen to me, believers. When you pray and nothing happens, and you pray again and nothing happens, and believers agree with you and nothing happens, you must know what to do. When the devil launches an attack, do you know what to do? Or do you just know that attack is real? Hallelujah. Years ago, I counseled one of our precious ladies. She's no longer here. And this lady told me that once a guy looks at her and says, I love you, I want to go and see your parents. That's the end of it. A strange being appears to her as usual, and that's the end of that relationship. If that guy does not get out of her life, the things that will get out of his life, you will not, his finances, just like Jonah, things will begin to leave. I can tell you that lady loves God and she's a Christian. Listen, if an unbeliever goes through certain things, it is natural. What happens when a Christian woman is barren? What happens when a Christian man is impotent? What happens when a Christian couple are broke? What happens when a Christian man and his wife and their children are standing in the name of the Lord and there is no roof for them that night. They don't know where they will spend the night. Yet Jesus is still Lord over their lives. Your confidence in God and the spirit of fear that comes upon you. A lecturer called me some months ago that he was relieved from his work. Not, not ABU here. One of the institutions. And I said, what happened? And just some issue that he, he truly told me under God. Now, it's not for me to vet the rightness, but from as a man of God, I can tell you I discern he was true. Some persons just cooked up one or two things like that, and that was it. The case had been pending, 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 and finally, they just threw that man away. Out. No job. And the man was telling me, he said, where do I start from? There were monies they were supposed to give him. Nobody's talking about it and everything has gone. I confess to you that life can be challenging. I confess to you that when Satan attacks you, he looks powerful because the attack is real. You will see it and sometimes you will wonder, Lord, where were you when this came? But tonight's message is for you. Let's look at a few scriptures. Hmm. John chapter 16 and verse 33. John 16, 33. We are really going to pray tonight. And when it's time to pray, please hold, even if it's prophetically, the hands of your loved ones and everybody you know should be listening to this message. And lift them before God as we cry. John chapter 16 and verse 33. Everyone read with me. One to read. Jesus is speaking. Uh huh. These things I have spoken unto you. What things? That in me ye might find peace. Why? In the world ye shall have tribulation. Listen. Listen. Jesus is speaking to believers. And saying the possibility of tribulation is something that will be part of your experience. That means acclimatize your mind. Do not think it strange when these things happen. It says, 
be of good cheer. Why? Because I have overcome the world. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 17. 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 17. Listen to this message, matured believers. And run away from some of these childish things that continue to give us very aberrated views of life. For our light affliction. Why will you use the word affliction for a Christian? One who is in Christ. One who has sustained victory. The fullness of the spirit. The fullness of the Godhead in Christ resides in him. Paul is speaking and says for our light affliction. Which is but for a moment he says. Worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. For our light afflictions. So it is not unusual for believers to go through afflictions. Nobody sits and prays for it. But that is for any reason you find that reality around your circumference. Do not think it strange. Rather be equipped with the understanding to deal with it to victory. Are we together now? Yes. I will never forget years ago I was encouraging a gentleman. Generally just sharing with him. I told him, I pray for you to get a job. But in case you don't get a job, I was sharing with him certain business ideas. And the guy almost shouted on my face, I, I reject, um, you know, that he rejected the statement I was saying that there will be delay in a job, you know. The Bible says he will not. I, did, I said, no, no, I'm a man of God. I pray, I'm not saying you will be delayed, but I'm saying if this possibility happens, while you wait for that blessing, be thinking of this and that. I don't mean to embarrass you, but till today, I'm not aware, except if he got it this year, but till today, he has not gotten a job. The same wisdom he would have listened to and his foolishness there is a difference between faith and foolishness they are not the same the same way a matured mother will be mentoring a young lady who is about to get married and get pregnant and say we do not we, we are not discouraging you but we are just saying that there might be these possibilities and that if this comes, there is a wisdom way to route it. No, I reject it. I, my, my womb is blessed. Nobody's arguing it until life shows you pepper and then you turn and say, ah, so this thing is like that. A man parked his car and ran to deal with somebody quickly and came out and met space his car had gone in the afternoon broad daylight the car that was dedicated in church don't forget don't forget almost every church dedicates cars this car was dedicated in the name of the Lord by a genuine man of God. Genuine oil was poured on it. And now a thief enters and the oil did not seem to do anything. The prophecy didn't seem to do anything. That guy kicked that car and ran away with it. And where were the angels that keep watch? Did the Bible not say that they will bear you up on their wings? What suddenly happened to that man who put a speaker, I am victorious, behind the car that was stolen? What happens when a believer is in church and armed robbers are in the house stealing? Have you not heard this? Or you don't say it in church. It should not be said, Abby. That you are worshipping God and rolling on the ground. Lord, I give you my heart. And an armed robber breaks your door. And the all-seeing eye of God does not seem to be able to restrain that robber. He enters your house and goes to look for the areas you just collected and carries it and runs away. You share the grace with joy and go back home into a week long of depression. I'm a man of faith. I'm a man that believes in miracles. 
but I must teach you the reality of navigating through these things in life. I don't mean to embarrass our precious lady, but one of our ladies here, I remember very clearly one time her mother, it was in a, it was in a night vigil. They were praying, not in a party, not in a club. A night vigil. They were praying, lifting up the name of the Lord, fiery prayer. Suddenly a woman stops, drops dead, and dies. That's how the mother died. I remember when that lady called me that night, crying, and saying, Apostle, how can my mother die in a place of prayer? It's the same thing like saying, how can Jesus die? But he died. How can life die? Life died. How can light be dark? Light became dark. Sometimes the unexplainable happens. Like life dying. Like resurrection being grounded on the cross. <laughs> James chapter 1 and verse 1 to 4. I like what this teaching is doing to you. You will thank me tomorrow. Add it to your spiritual arsenals so that you will draw it forth in the days that are rainy days. For some of you, the dark cloud is already before you. And you will need to know this. James, let's go to verse, um, verse 2. My brethren, Count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Why? Next verse. Knowing this, knowing this. Tell your neighbor, knowing this. There are things you need to know. Knowing this. This is your immunity. This is your basis for stability. Knowing this. There are things if you don't know, you cannot rejoice in the midst of pain. He says, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Verse 4. It says, but let patience have her perfect work. Do you know what this means? Don't interrupt what is happening. Let patience have her perfect work. That ye might be mature and complete. Wanting or lacking nothing. Jesus told us very clearly. That it's not unusual for believers to be challenged by the gates of hell. And then also, the Bible did not leave us in the dark. That the journey of the believer is not just a smooth road. That there are mountains and there are valleys. In the making of great men in God's kingdom. Listen very carefully. There is a place where the refiner's fire. I preached a controversial message years ago on the furnace of affliction. And several people said, don't mind that message. Just believe, you know, and so on and so forth. There is a real experience in a believer's making called the furnace of affliction. I repeat, there is a real experience in the making of men that are as precious as gold called the refiner's fire. It is not the destroyer's fire. It is the refiner's fire. Are we together? Isaiah 43 and verse 1 and 2 says, Fear not, I have redeemed you. It says, I have called you by name, you are mine. Are we together? It says, Isaiah 43, 1 and 2, Fear not, I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. It says, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. There are times that God will not say, I will be with you. He will say, I will help you. But there are other times he say, I'm there. Just find comfort that I'm there. There's no guarantee that I will put my hand in that process. But be assured that my presence is there. <laughs> and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. Now listen, he said, when you walk through fire, you don't pass through fire, you walk. There is a roasting process that takes time. There is a separation. 
you don't put meat around fire and you have something nice you drop it there then turn it again then turn it back to where you turned before then turn it again and when it is done people enjoy it listen what do you think the anointing is have you found out how oil is made that the threshing floor is not a place of laughter that oil does not want to go through that train believers we have been spoon fed into believing that all it takes is to get born again and be filled with the Holy Spirit I want to be Apostle Joshua Selman I want to be Benny Hinn it is doable it is achievable but can you drink of my cup and be baptized with my baptism that's what Jesus said whoever told you there is no cup to drink and whoever told you there is no baptism ah, there are times when your prayers will deliberately not be answered this is not a conventional teaching many people say God forbid all prayers are answered I agree it depends on the level you are seeing from because the Bible says there is the heel of the Lord it says who shall ascend to the heel of the Lord and who shall stand in his holy place there are planes in the spirit and not every experience is the same at every plane there are planes that are general experiences and you can write a theology from that standpoint but you climb like the eagle to a mountain where the Holy Ghost defeathers you have you seen how eagles mount up and renew their wings they rise to a high altitude and right there by themselves they, they remove the old feather and they are left naked in the cold and they stand there and then suddenly new feather begins to come out slowly there are things that the tempo has been preset it will not be accelerated because of your tears it was designed to be that slow if the process hurries too much you will not learn what you should learn <laughs> mm. that you are trusting god for money to eat as soon as ten thousand came god said carry one thousand tight carry one thousand your own carry eight thousand my own go and sow and you say why did it come then I, i'm 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 doing something to you that breaks the power of mammon in your life because what is coming to you, eye has not seen, ear has not heard. It has not entered the heart of any man. So I need to train you. If 10,000 is difficult for you to receive and you are shouting, I'm a millionaire, you are joking and flattering yourself. We continue to do these foolish things in church. That's why the world looks at us and says, these people, something is wrong with them. The faith life is not foolishness. People must be educated to understand the pathway. The way to the throne is the cross. You will never, there is no bypass. There is only one line. Man of God, hear me. You admire everyone who speaks under the influence of God's power. Fight. Let me tell you, when the anointing for service comes, it doesn't come as oil, it comes as olive. There is a breaking process that will turn that olive to the oil. It is true. There is a threshing floor in your life that is in the similitude of the threshing floor of Naboth. Where there are things that are threshed there. Unfortunately, it's not wheat. It is you. You are that living sacrifice that must lie there. Hear me. There are times... That the things happening in your life can only be interpreted by those who have passed that road. No other believer can see and it can make sense. No. God gives you a rule and says for the next five months, I meet with you from 11 to 3 every night. Regardless of how tired you are. And some man of God will tell you, no, it's not in the word. God doesn't do that. Pray when you need to pray. God gave you a will. I agree. And the man is right. He is not wrong. But with respect to your training, violate that instruction and power will be far from you. Far from you. Show us the ancient paths 
Would you lead us along eternal highway? We want to follow the ways of Jesus. We want to enter your rest. Show us the ancient path that so many have left. Would you lead us along eternal highway? We want to follow the way of Jesus we want to enter your listen the path to glory does not have laughter as part of the equation except you are laughing by the anointing he that sows in tears a farmer laughing by the farm has not started farming the size of the instrument alone will take away laughter but you have to farm who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross there are many people who see every blessed man and just dishonor them ah these young people they just became rich please keep quiet find out the cross behind what you see and then you will know that nobody was dashed wealth you see young people with anointing all these young boys where did they get it from go and find out the pain find out what they were doing when you were sleeping Find out the covenants that they, that they tied themselves with like a rope. All these people who have great ministry, be careful, oh, you don't know where they are getting the crowds from. You are joking. You go and find out people's cries and covenants with God. I know a man of God who said when he went to Lagos for the first time, he slept under the bridge. He was not a poor man. God instructed him to give everything he had. He got to Lagos and slept under the bridge like a fool. Imagine if you were his relative and you saw him. He said, sorry, uncle, what are you doing here? He said, God sent me. Imagine that it was your daughter that kind of man married. Won't you carry your daughter back home? But today everybody celebrates him. Listen, my brothers and my sisters, do not think it unusual when you are following the path of champions is a lonely road did you hear what i said do not think it unusual i speak to you there are many men and women of god here you thought by now you will start a church you are surprised you are still on tra on training there are others who are jumping classes and running around leave them home and stay quietly with god because there is a making huh. making Ask a coach how a champion is built. The coach will subject that person through exercises. The person will run. The person will cry. Coach, I am tired. And the coach will say, no, this is not you. The version of you I seek to produce is not the you I'm seeing. Sometimes when God pushes you, it's proof of his confidence in you. Others got there and God said, no, they've reached the elastic limit. But for you, he says, no, I know what I put in you. Let's push a little more. There are certain levels of glory that have been waiting for who will push to this level. Everybody stopped here. You can't, don't, don't disappoint me. Push a little further. On one side, believers can be attacked. But on another side, without an attack, the default design of the pathway to glory requires like pilgrim's progress there are mountains to climb listen very carefully there are valleys to follow there are times you will sleep in the desert there are times you will not know where you are going you will just keep going and hope you are right We didn't come this far by luck. We didn't come this far by chance. It is true we came by grace, but grace that was not abused. It is not grace that did the work. Grace empowered us to comply. Behind every glory, are tears and blood sleepless nights and sacrifices as any great man 
Champions, hear me. Being a champion is not just a confession. Ask a pregnant woman. When she gives birth to the baby, like our dear one here who gave birth and we're all rejoicing. But ask her how it was. Right now you are carrying something that others are not carrying. Don't expect them to understand you. If everybody around you understands you, it's a sign that you are not going anywhere. There are times only God can understand you. Let me tell you. There are times only God can understand you. While others are sleeping, the Holy Ghost takes away sleep from you. He giveth his beloved sleep. But from you, he took it so that you will wake up. And you are walking around your house and crying. Lord, what is the name of what you are doing with me? He calls it refining. Lord, what is the name of what you are doing with my life? Is this how useless my life is going to be? You have honored other people. Look at what you are doing. At least show me where I'm going. Let me be convinced that you are leading me. And he says, the seeming confusion is part of the process. So that I teach you that you don't have to understand me to follow me. There are times that it's in your obedience that understanding comes. Lord, if you don't show me where I'm going, I will not follow. You will never get to the place of destiny. There are times you start that journey far before it later makes sense. Come out of Ai of the Chaldeans to a land that I will show you. I don't give you no vision for it. Keep moving. Carry your child along because you will kill him sooner or later. These are messages you will not hear in the church again. It's not all about receive. It's not all about be a champion. The anointing does not work like that. There is stability. I show you the way of champions. I show you the way of the ancient. I show you the, the way to build stamina where you are given the keys of territories. To him that endures to the end that will give a crown and a white stone, he said. Please don't let anybody deceive you. If it is that cup, you must drink of it. If it's that baptism, you will be baptized. If it has not started, it will start. So I'm teaching you so that you will understand that when everything in your life looks strange and God says, empty your account. When you were a baby Christian, you emptied your account and in 24 hours times 10 came. So you took that mindset to rush and say, ah, if it's God, I know he's Jehovah Sharp Sharp. I agree, but not for your training. Sharp Sharp will be when you are on stage. Then you prophesy to someone and he gets a miracle alert. But I tell you, not during your training. You will get no miracle alert. What you will get is the faith to endure. I shared with you my story. Today I pray and people receive breakthroughs. I shared with you years ago. When out of hunger, I took a step of faith and joined a queue in First Bank, believing that miracle alert will come. This miracle alert thing didn't just start now. It was built in the spirit. So then death works in us, that life will work in you. Whatever you die to is what you give life to people in. Let me tell you, this is how it works. You have never been disappointed forget about carrying the power of god no it's not for children you must taste of this cup called shame you must taste of this cup called embarrassment till your ego is drained like a transfusion from someone and the life that i now live it is no longer about if you are not healed i'm not a man of god no your ego is gone it went with the training you started the ministry with ego so every time you want to pray for the sick your reputation is there and he said young man you can't do ministry that way it is not about the result it is about my glory it is painful to be approved of god this is why you stand and run your mouth over people that God approved. You will be surprised what happens to you. 
It's true you are a believer, but you will know that everyone is not the same. Let no man trouble me, he said, for I bear in my body. I'm speaking to men and women inside and outside here. You are in these defining moments and I must tell you what is happening in your life. Because if you are not careful, you will run around and meet people and they will say, no, um, it's because you don't have faith. No, I show you the way of power. Let me tell you this. Listen, listen. I don't claim to know everything about the faith life. I am just an effective member of the body. But I tell you this, when I teach people on how the anointing is made, and I teach people how men are made, it's an office. I don't teach you cunningly devised fables. I'm like a lecturer that has been teaching this for a long time. You ignore what I tell you is to your own peril. That which we have seen, that which we have heard, that which our hands have handled. The keys of nations will not be given to you just because you prayed. There is blood that must touch that altar. And not some, everything. It must be drained till you are empty. Your tears will not stop him. Not even your fears. You get to a point where all your fears happen to you. And there's nothing else to fear. You have come out of the realm. Not by escapism. I'm afraid. One of the ways boldness is given to you is what you fear is brought before you so that you no longer can fear god shows you your fear right before you you pray that he takes it away but you pass through it and there's no longer fear this is the making of men this is the threshing floor of naboth this is how the great are made in this kingdom apostle i'm calling to the ministry of kingdom finance I think all I need is just a seminar and some impartation. <laughs> you are joking. You are even the one who will need to die more than a preacher. Because mammon is a spirit that God even recognized. Abraham, take now thy son, thy only son whom thou lovest. Take him to a mountain. God, is this the price to be the father of nations? I'm not interested. What is that? I wait for a child for 25 years and you ask me to hand him over. Yes, sir. Take over. Take over. Take over. Take over. Take over. Over. Take over. Take over. Take over. Take over, take over, take over, take over, take over. I have come to the end of myself. Take over, take over. I have come to the end of myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, I have come to the end of myself. Hallelujah, hallelujah, I have come to the end of myself. Hey, hey, hey. Take over. Listen, listen to me. I got to a point in my life where God so dealt with me, it was like there was no life again. That you get to a point where you don't know the name of your life or destiny again. No name. You are like Cain. And the more I kept moving like the wind, I didn't know that's how spiritual men are. Because it says the wind bloweth where it listeth. You cannot tell where it's going or where it's coming. So is one who is led by the Spirit of the Lord. I truly wanted the power of God in my life. And I prayed. I said, Lord, please give me power. I thought the answer would be a bed. 
that will land on my head and you say son from this day I have given you power power to open doors that no man can shut you are joking power to speak over nations no sir no sir no sir those keys are hidden in your scars you keep them there Oh, I apologize if you don't like what I'm teaching you tonight. But this meeting is for the great. Because I see that season coming again. It's like a cycle. And a season comes when there is a new recruitment. A new recruitment. It's always like that. And then the ones that have been recruited, God starts working with them. After some years, he says, now there is a, an opening again. That can scare me, that can scare me, cause I know I'm dead already. In my reason, in my seasons, I cry out, this is the end of me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, I have come to the end of myself hallelujah. 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 listen please listen to me not every negative thing happening to you is demonic is of the devil N not every negative thing will answer to prayer there are certain things where it is the grace of God that will be sufficient for you. There are times in my life I fasted and fasted. I didn't know the difference between being full and being empty. This is our generation. We, we truly have this honor. Truly have this honor. Please don't just see every young man you are seeing and believe that just because they are young, it means that they were given certain things as a dash. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. There were nights when everyone would be sleeping. I would be on the roof of vet medicine in ABU. The roof of it in the night. From night till morning that roof seeing visions and revelations but staying there in that cold with mosquitoes just a little inconvenience and people begin to complain you are talking of giving some seed I never had the opportunity to spend my scholarship once once it was a sacrifice before it arrived. So when today someone says, Apostle, give me your phone, let me send you money. Please, there is a track record. Let's honor the pain of people. Let's honor the pain of people. Man of God, the anointing is for the taking. Grace is for the taking. The pride that we have just because of our one one or two two hours prayer <laughs> I will never forget times when I would lock myself for three days my eyes will not see the Sun I don't know whether it's day or night I don't know whether it's nine o'clock or ten o'clock no sleep with these eyes open praying from morning till night, morning till night, morning till night. Lord, expand this vessel. Expand this vessel. Let me be a, a conduit of your power. That was a prayer. Not for myself. Lord, for your glory. Let it please you that I will be used as a vessel. And one day God vowed a vow and said, my son, I give you my presence as a gift. Wow. 
there is a threshing floor in the life of every believer please hear me I'm addressing those who are being attacked and those who are going through seasons they do not understand do not think that it is demonic please sit down and give me a few minutes and then we are going to pray tonight let me get back again to those who have been attacked and show you a few keys it applies to everybody but please write this down I remember praying years ago and I said Lord why is it that when I speak nothing happens I read the Bible and I saw in the life of Peter that while Peter yet spake these things the Holy Ghost fell on all they that had him not all they that believed in him if your ears could hear Peter the Holy Ghost will come to you I said Lord why don't I see this in my life not for pride and God let me know that everything in the kingdom is yours for the taking but there are dimensions not all things are possible at every level there are real dimensions number one the first key that I will give you to minister comforts tonight overflow one I'm seeing lights all over overflow one this is what I'm seeing lights I'm seeing an impartation lights 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 just like like thunder like lightning light I believe it's an impartation just overflow one just caught my attention in the name of Jesus Christ that which God has in store let it come upon you in Jesus name number one the first key that you need to survive these seasons whether a season of attack or a season of pruning and dealing and refining number one never lose your joy please never lose your joy in this kingdom joy is strength never never lose your joy Philippians chapter 4 and verse 4. Please write quickly. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. Not always. Always as you go. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I repeat. Rejoice. Joy joy is of the holy ghost though joy is not just clownish laughter you don't have to laugh to be in joy lord i don't know the name of what you are doing but i rejoice i rejoice i rejoice i rejoice i rejoice i rejoice, I rejoice. I rejoice. true joy will come in form of a melody on your lips a melody that does not make sense Sometimes a melody that mocks your situation, still sing it. Joy. Joy. Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10b. Popular scripture. But many of you don't know where it is in the Bible. Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10b. It says, for the joy of the Lord is your strength that the joy of the Lord that means when you lack strength in this kingdom what you lack is joy in the physical world when you lack energy you are given food is that true in the realm of the spirit when you lack joy I mean when you lack strength what you are given to eat is joy sometimes God does not give you the solution he gives you joy 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 he said count it all joy count it all joy the shame yes sir the pain yes sir the no admission yes sir the disappointed meeting that I called people and I said sick people come and at the end nobody was healed 
and that you went back home and somebody sent a text and said next time be a serious man of God before you call us the Bible says, count it all joy it comes alive every time I hear your voice it comes alive every time I hear your voice there's a joy in my heart in spite of all the sorrows that surrounds me and this joy that I have only comes alive every time I hear your voice. It comes, it comes alive every time I hear your voice. Can you watch your car on fire? Your 2.5 or 3.5 million. And you stand and say to God be the glory. Great things he has done. Can you watch your job? And you stand at the gate of your office. It was once yours. But now no longer yours. And say in it oh God I give you glory. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I be afraid? Can you stand before a corpse? And you are looking at a dead body that you fasted for days to come back to life. And you say, in spite of it, oh God, with the tears coming from my eyes, I still give you glory. I thought the dead body would come back to life. But now I have prayed. I give you glory. Never lose your joy. Let nothing in this life steal your joy. Not lack of money not lack of a child please listen to me this gloominess we carry around is cheating us are you hearing what i'm saying yes make up your mind to rejoice in the lord why are you rejoicing and crying i'm crying because of the reality of my pain but i rejoice because joy brings harvest you will sow in tears but you will reap in joy not with joy in joy if there is no joy, there is no harvest. Number two. What do you do in these seasons? Engage in strategic prayer. Listen, the seasons of attack in a believer's life or a season of pruning and making, they are seasons of deep spiritual emphasis. They are seasons of prayer and intercession. That's not the time to pray morning and evening. That's the time to pray anyhow and anytime. Because you are in a season. Your anchor will be your prayer. Hallelujah. Day and night, you are praying. Lord, I don't know what is happening to my life, but I'm praying. Zakataba, kataba, lataba. You have your prayer time in the morning. You have your prayer time in the evening. But every time is prayer time. Every time is prayer time. An evil report. Your wife just lost her child. What are you doing? I am praying. Why? I'm in a season. Is any man afflicted? James chapter 5 and verse 13. Let him pray. Let him pray pray not let him discuss not let him grumble around not let him call god names and say i will backslide let him pray psalm 34 please from verse 4 to 7 and then the last part and we will pray psalm 34 i sought the lord and he heard me and delivered me from what all my fears next verse we're reading to four to seven they looked unto him and were lightened and their faces were not ashamed six the poor man cried and the lord heard him and saved him out of how many all his troubles last verse 
the angel of the Lord encampeth around them that fear him and delivereth them. Prayer is a powerful weapon in all seasons, but especially this season. Lord, what is happening around my life? My wife just got attacked. My son just got attacked. My job just got attacked. I am not understanding what is happening. I set myself like Daniel onto prayer. God grants you grace. You can add with fasting, add with fasting. This spiritual laziness of eating anyhow, anytime. Many believers now fast as a ceremony. Three days fasting, you carry it on your head as if, you, as if it's, it's 12 years fasting. If you love food more than your destiny, life will cheat you again and again. Food is okay, oh, but please let me tell you mighty ones, you must learn to show food that your spirit man has grown above it. There are many of you here, you cannot remember. I may be wrong, I'm not saying you should do it. Please, I'm not saying you should do it. But as far as I'm concerned, there are spiritual levels that if you get to, a week should never pass that you did not fast. You are joking. You are joking. Not with what you are doing to hell. You are joking. Seven days. Ah, no. Himarama. 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 To the king who sits on the throne. Himarama to the king. Listen, let me tell you this. I will continue to teach you this secret. Real victory, real victory in prayer is gotten while men sleep. Real victory is not gotten shouting around just making noise. Real men of power contact power when men sleep. May God give you the grace to rise above sleep. I'm praying from the... May God give you the grace to not allow sleep cheat you. That God can wake you up in the night. No light off the light you are praying don't allow distractions you are praying the next thing you see one of your trousers and it's enough to distract off the light you can use your phone light you are in the night alone and watch what happens you are nobody seeing what you are doing but there is a register every day you are signing it is the day you get to the stage to preach. That's when God will not disappoint you. You don't come on stage and talk nonsense. Lion of the tribe of Judah, Rose of Sharon, Lily of the Valley, Rose of this and that and that. God is not a scammer. He's not a magician. No track record in the secret place. You will flatter yourself to nothing in, it, in the open. Please learn to pray in the night. Learn to pray in the night. Learn to pray in the night. Receive grace to dedicate night times and pray. God didn't give you a house just to keep things. Turn everywhere to a prayer altar. Turn your toilet to a prayer altar. Turn your living room to a prayer altar. When everyone has gone off the television, don't pray watching a film. Even if it's a Christian movie, you are not praying. Shut it down. Lord, this is me and you here. I don't know what is happening to my life. 
time will come you will feel like just leaning get up and say Satan you are a liar I'm going far a time will come your tongues begin to change what you are saying it will never be what you started with you, are, you, you have entered a level in the spirit tongues are languages and there are levels of power contact groanings that cannot be uttered you get to a point in the spirit where you begin to pray there are times that only one word one phrase will come out of your mouth for minutes pray it you are receiving power Prayer is not something you do in a group so that people will see you and think you're a prayer warrior. Don't joke with your destiny like that. Don't joke with your destiny like that. The Bible says to enter and shut the door behind you. Shut the door behind you and pray to your father who is in secret. You don't need to have a prayer point. You don't need to have a prayer point. Just stay there and begin to pray. Sekas kaparakatos, embrekete keleka takatos, sikos kamanakata. And while you are praying, your flesh is weak, but your spirit is willing. Listen, can I tell you this? There is a level of fire you bring on any attack in your life. It must give way. It must give way. Fire is an emblem of the spirit. It's one of the emblems of revival. It's one of the emblems that show that the spirit is in a place. Fire does not only refine. Fire is for judgment. There are times you need to stay like a priest upon the watch. My brother and my sister, if you pray from your heart, some things will shift. You will wake up in the morning and know I shifted this through prayer. There are attacks that only prayer can challenge. Pray for me, pray for me is wonderful. But you must become the priest of your destiny. Can someone just blast in tongues for just one or two minutes? Salamakata. Senakandas kama hasabash. Rakata pakato sopokoto sheketele kata. Emprata seneketo shani kata. Tasete shana haskabaratos. Unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Lord, I'm in a season of my life. I cannot afford to be lazy. I'm in a season of my life. I cannot allow my prayer life go down. It's too risky. Not for this season. Not for this season. This is the wrongest time to be prayerless. This is the wrongest time to be prayerless. Oh, take away slumber from my eyes. Take away slumber, oh God. Skabaratoskama. There are scores to settle in the realm of the spirit. There are things to shift in the realm of the spirit. There are things to align in the realm of the spirit. I need to legislate spiritual realities. While men slept, while men slept, the enemy came and saw tears. Pray. Pray. Outside, pray. 
king who sits upon the white horse. To the king, yes, he sits upon the white horse. Shelabakata rekotosia, imarama. Marama, hey, hey, hey. Marama, to the king who sits on the throne. Marama, to the king who sits on the throne. Hey, Shelabalara. Woe to them who are is in Zion. Woe to them who are is in Zion. The king who sits upon the white horse. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're praying. Psalm 125. Prayer gives you stamina to pass through seasons. Jesus prayed, otherwise, you would have given up. He said, Peter, Satan desired to sift you like wheat, but I have prayed for you that your faith fail not. And when you are converted, Use the same strategy to strengthen, strengthen. Prayer is a strengthener. They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abided forever. Next verse. As the mountains are around Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people. From henceforth, even forever. Next verse. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put his hands in iniquity. Next verse. Do good, O Lord, unto those that be good, and to them that are upright in their hearts. We are reading till the last verse. As for such as turn aside in their crooked ways, the Lord shall lead them forth with the workers of iniquity. But peace upon Joshua Selman. Prayer gives you stability. In the next two, three minutes, you are going to pray. And say, Lord, let this prayer stabilize me. I shouldn't be shaking over everything. I should be able to laugh at certain storms. And say, Jesus is Lord. Lift your voice and pray. Stability. Power. Stamina. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is the strength of my life. Stability, O oh God. Stability, O oh God. The Bible says if you turn aside in the day of battle, your strength is small. Your strength is small. Give me capacity, endurance, stamina. The grace to pass through for the sake of my family. The grace to pass through for the sake of my generation. The grace to pass through for the sake of my, my loved ones. Be strong, be strong, be strong. Be strong in the Lord. Don't be weak, be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. 
be strong in the Lord. Koinonia, be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. Don't entertain weakness. Be strong in the Lord. You are not the weak ones. You are strong. Hallelujah. The third key I will give you tonight. Number one, never lose your joy. Number two, engage in strategic prayer and intercession. Number three, prophesy. The power of the spoken word. There is no greater time in your life to engage the creative power of God's word than when things just go haywire. The power of the spoken word. The power of the spoken word. Numbers chapter 14 and verse 28. Numbers chapter 14 and verse 28. Numbers 14. Say unto them, as truly as I live, saith the Lord, as ye have spoken in my ears, so will I do unto you. There are times that you don't just pray. You pray till the spirit of prophecy comes on you. When it does come, you speak. He said, prophesy. Speak to the dry bones. Prophesy. All dry bones, hear ye the word of the Lord said prophesy there are times you need to prophesy there are times you need to speak psalms 138 and verse 8 very powerful scripture psalms 138 and verse 8 please give it to us quickly we're going to pray the lord will perfect that which concerned me thy mercy O lord endure it forever forsake not the works of my own hands you lift it in prayer i prophesy and i declare the lord is perfecting everything concerning me i declare that i come out victorious the bible declares that goodness and mercy follow me you don't just cry and say hey yeah so is this how my life is going to be this is what i've become now no sir nothing moves till you prophesy I prophesied as I was commanded and there was a sound. You see, that's why it is important for a believer to be full of God's word. If you are scripture bankrupt, you will not know what to say. Prophecy is not just when God reveals something like word of knowledge. You can take the word of God and begin to create possibilities. It's important to know the word. It's important to know the word. When it looks like things around you are not working, you go to Psalm 3. Many are they that rise up against me. Many are they which say, where is your God? He says, but thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. You are my glory, the lifter up of my head. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of the heavens and the earth. It's unfortunate for believers who don't know the word. You must trust God for grace to sit down and gather relevant scriptures that address the issue of concern and stand up like the priest that you are. Put those words in the lips of faith like Kenyon would say and begin to release them with true supernatural power. The Lord is my light and salvation. The Lord is my light and salvation. I reject confusion in my life. I hear a voice from behind saying, this is the way. Walk ye in it. This is how to pray. Is someone ready to pray? Listen to me. There are many of us who have gotten to the stage in our seasons where it is our prophecy that will bring the morning. If you don't prophesy, nothing will happen. Is someone ready to pray?
If you don't know what to say, go and hold the hands of someone who knows what to say and agree with them. Lift your voice and begin to speak. There has to be a scripture that you know. It shall keep them in perfect peace whose minds are stayed towards him. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him from them all. From them all. From them all. And I will restore the years that the canker worm has eaten, the palmer worm, the caterpillar. It will give them beauty for ashes. Joy for the spirit of mourning. That they might be called the oaks of righteousness. The planting of the Lord. And he shall be glorified. Behold, I do a new thing. Shall ye not know it? I make a way even in the wilderness, streams in the desert. The Lord shall perfect all that concerns me. The Lord shall perfect all that concerns me. All the days of my appointed time, I wait till my change comes. When the Lord turn again the captivity of Zion, they were like them that dream. So said they among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for us. He said, the Lord has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. I am the head and not the tail. Above and not beneath. I shall lay up gold as dust. Even the gold of Ophir. Gentiles come to my light. They are kings even to the brightness of my rising. For my shame I receive double. Elas kabarandes kalapro oshoda bahasi. But my head shall thou exalt like the horn of an unicorn, and I shall be anointed with fresh oil, fresh oil fresh oil blessed in my going out blessed in my coming in blessed is the work of my hands my needing trough in the name of Jesus Christ blessed is the man that feareth the Lord that delighted greatly in his commands my seed shall be mighty upon earth the generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in my house. And my righteousness endures forever. Pray. Pray. You are not just speaking, you are creating. Declare thou that ye might test be justified. For by your words you are justified. And by your words you are condemned. You are bringing before God your strong reasons. Above only, above only, above only. Above only above only in the name of jesus above only above only a sign and a wonder a testament of the grace of god a testament of the favor of god a testament of the hand of god a testament of the mercy of god
Though weeping endures for a night, joy comes with the morning. Prophesy joy in the morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Genesis chapter 32, Genesis chapter 32, the Bible says, Jacob wrestled with God and he said, leave me for the day breaketh. He says, I will not let you go unless, listen, unless you bless me. Here's how God blessed him. What is your name? What is your identity? What have people known you with? I'm about to change it. That's how I bless you. If I blessed you truly, it means something they used to say about you. A proverb should no longer be heard. What is your name? And he said, Jacob, a cheat and a supplanter. He said, thou shalt no longer be called Jacob, but Israel. Why? For as a prince, you have had power with God and prevailed. We are going to pray. Father, change my name. In this season, listen. Change my name means change my experience. Change my name means change the proverb. Let this proverb not be used about me again. That God cannot show him mercy. That God cannot lift my family. Let this proverb change. Like father, like son. No, sir. Open your mouth and cry. Change my name. Change my story. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. Jabez, the mother called him Jabez, named him in sorrow. But Jabez was angry. He said, oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Enlarge my coast. Is someone praying? Lord, change my financial name. Change my ministerial name. Change my marital name. Change my destiny name. Out of the abundance of your mercy. By the encounter I've had with you. Change my name. Change my story. Change my name. Give me a testimony. Shut the mouths of the wicked. Prove once again that you are God and that by yourself. Please pray. God answers prayers. Give me a new name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Next prayer point. The Bible says he touched the hollow of his thigh and it became twisted. Lord, may I never depend on my strength. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. And lean not on your own understanding. It says, in all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. The next verse says, do not be wise in your own understanding, but fear the Lord and turn away from evil. You are going to pray. Lord, I've trusted my certificate. I've trusted my connection. I've trusted my beauty. I've trusted my spirituality. But tonight I take my eyes away from all of this. As advantageous as they are, they looked unto him and their faces were lightened. I look to you and to you alone. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. We are praying. I take my eyes away from man. It is true that my blessings come through men, but my eyes are fixed on you. Is someone praying?
We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Forever Yahweh, Yahweh. Like the brazen serpent that Moses made, he said, Whoever looks to that serpent, the real one will not strike at him. Vain is anything that you put your strength on. So, Jacob, I see you stable without me. I touch your point of stability so that you will be ever dependent on me. The last prayer point. He said he blessed him and the sun arose until then it was night the war happened in the night the weeping happened in the night but then he says the sun arose and Jacob called the name of the place Peniel the face of God he says for I have seen God face to face when Moses saw the face of God, he returned back with a testimony. Is someone ready to pray? Lord, let the sun arise. It is true that weeping endures for a night, but I believe I'm standing at the dawn of my morning. Lift your voice and prophesy. Let my sun arise. Sun arise. Financial sun arise ministerial son arise the encounter is over the lessons have been learned the impartations have been received therefore night time be turned today night time be turned today Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keep standing. We're rounding up. Let me tell you three things that come into your life when you break through with God. Number one, strange dimensions of favor. There is, a, there is a, an unusual degree of favor. It's God's signature. He writes it upon your life that the training for this phase has come to an end. You have been approved. He uses favor. Dimensions of doors you never dreamt opening. I can tell you this happens. It doesn't matter how the night is. That when your day breaks, you will see favor that will bring you to your knees. When I talk of favor, I'm not talking money. I'm talking of the hearts of kings and nobles. Money is very small. God will take the hearts of kings and nobles and give you. It will be like a charm. You will call on a man and nations will respond. You have become Beulah and Hephzibah. The delight. Number two. 
genuine, authentic spiritual power. Genuine spiritual power. Not trial and error. Not like God will come. Not like God will move. Something solid upon you. Provable. Genuine spiritual power. You speak the purposes of God to men's lives. And you will shift lives overnight. Power. 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 Number three. The third thing that happens to you when you stand with God. Is that God multiplies both your spiritual and your physical influence. He increases the reach of the grace he has put upon your life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Every man is limited by the jurisdiction a portion for his grace to function. There are men who can stand from anywhere and speak over Nigeria. It doesn't matter. The grace given to them and the expansion they have attained unto in the spirit covers that sphere. Elijah stood in one place and spoke over an entire land. There were times when Jesus had to leave one land to enter another land to pray for a person. What was the reward of the five, two, and one talent? Greater territory greater influence in the spirit when kings conquered certain lands they had increased territory america is called america today because it's the unity of many states one american state can be three times nigeria one state are we together now yes it's why it's called united states of america in Nigeria, you can pass through a state in 30 minutes. And there are times in the state you will fly for hours from one state to the other. There is no state that is more than one hour, 10 minutes. My Duguri to Lagos is the farthest distance. One hour, 10 minutes exactly, you are there. But you will fly for hours. That is the reason why whoever sits as the president of that territory must be respected by every devil whether they like it or not. It is the reason why the American president is the number one president. Because there are many in one state is the destiny of many nations. The per capita income of just one state will swallow up many African countries. So when God expands your sphere, dimensions where your grace would not reach now you can speak from one place and they can hear from home before you had to go home for them to hear but now God has expanded your influence and they say won't you come again you say no problem he has upgraded the grace for I am also a man under authority right from where I am I can say to one come and he cometh go and he goeth it's like a ranking in the spirit one of my old secondary school classmates my father got to meet with him recently and now he's a major in the army i think at the threshold of the next rank what's the next rank after after major Lieutenant Cornell, yes. I think soon that's what they are going to give him. He used to be a fearful, chicken-like young guy. I remember when they take us from Joss to go to our school, he would start crying even before we go out of Joss. I never cried once to leave home. It was a delight and a pleasure to get out. That guy was so girlish and feminine. I wondered, but that guy today is a major sometimes he would stand and do some things you know he could see a roach cockroach and you know how ladies would jump but today he can tell me kneel down hands up you civilian except for the fact that
when I send thee, lackest thou anything? Can we spend two minutes to pray? Let's pray the prayer of Jabez. Enlarge my territory. Please lift your voice and pray. Enlarge me, O God. Take away the spirit of smallness from my life. It doesn't give you glory that I remain small. Not after an encounter with you. Not after seasons, defining moments with you. Pray the prayer of Jabez. Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. That thou wouldest expand, enlarge my territory. Pray for koinonia. Pray for your business. Lord, enlarge my territory. He said, where we meet with you is too straight. Let us move beyond the Jordan. Please pray. God is hearing you. You are not wasting your time. It has been said, no one rose beyond certain levels in your family. But can you pray the prayer of Jabez? Expand my territory, oh God. I will go where the fathers have not gone. I will eat the milk and the wine of Canaan. I will not die in the wilderness. He did not bring me from Egypt to leave me in the wilderness. There is a land that flows with milk and honey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to pray. You don't have to come out. But I want to pray specially for people in this place tonight. You just sense in your life that there seems to be a fierce attack on your life. This is not just a dealing with God. This one you know is demonic. It's like all hell breaking loose over you, over your family, over your spiritual life, over whatever it is, your business. I want to pray for you and I want you to believe. It is for this cause that the Lord says to not neglect the gathering of the brethren because it's an opportunity for a supply of his power. Even when your seasons come to the end, there has to be a man. He said, destroy it not for there is a blessing in it. I want to pray for such people. Suddenly your prayer life just went down. You come fast from 6 to 6. By 11 you are almost collapsing. You can't even breathe. It's an attack. As a man of God, you found out that it looks like you opened the Bible and your page is empty. You are not seeing anything again. Every verse looks confusing. Every. Something is wrong. Strange attack on your church. Members are suddenly leaving. Everybody is suddenly hating you. People you have labored to raise in the gospel are now turning against you. It's an attack. You used to prophesy correctly. But now you just found out that you entered a season of nonsense. Everything you say is not correct. Word of knowledge, not correct. Your prophecy, not correct. It's an attack. It doesn't mean you are wrong. It means the devil is attacking your credibility. So that you will no longer be trusted. Finances. You are a hard-working, diligent person all of a sudden, it looked like holes came in your pocket. All doors just closed. No destiny help again. Even those who promised to help you, it's as if something turned their backs against you. It's an attack, my brothers and my sisters. You need to pray. 
all of a sudden your children started becoming something else people you have labored and trained they now no longer listen to you you say a they say b you say keep quiet they tell you to keep quiet something is wrong strange devilish dreams nightmares you can't dare lie down on your bed to sleep here they come pressing you molesting you attacking you it will take the grace of god to struggle yourself to wake up it's an attack what of reports from home you are enjoying the glory of god just about to take a nice step they just call you they pay you some areas that you are trusting god to just use and buy a small land and you hear an attack that someone needs chemotherapy or, or whatever it is and they need to spend 35 to 100,000 every week and it is you they are depending on say devora say it again say devora i say devora acts chapter 10 and verse 38 it says how god anointed jesus of nazareth the information is not that he was anointed look at the extent to which he was anointed with the holy ghost and with power he says he went about doing good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil for god was with him there are people inside there are people outside there are people standing in such sacrifice waiting for god it will be very wicked to share the grace the grace of our lord jesus christ and tell everybody bye-bye return back with your challenge no i want you to believe god tonight and insist lord whatever will come upon me must come upon me whatever must change must change whatever must grow must grow whatever must die must die when there is no expectation it becomes wrong for god to visit you because one of the things that he gave men seven benefits given to man at creation one of it is the right to choose the will that god gave man is a fundamental right it's not for christians once you are a man you were given the right to choose salvation even at the detriment of your going to hell was left for your choice god will never 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 violate your right to choose i said before you life and death i said before you blessing and cursing i can only advise you choose life i said before you prosperity and poverty i said before you success and failure i said before you spiritual growth and and a low level of spirituality it's up to you to choose i choose life oh, and everything that comes with it i choose speed i choose increase i choose honor i choose dignity i choose open doors i choose open heavens it's a choice and if you're a family man here as for you and your house you can't choose for the whole world but you can choose for your house that the favor of God can rest upon your life tonight and that within the next one month things will shift in your life in a way and a manner that will surprise you if you do not believe these things exist you are not a Christian a Christian is not just one who is born again. A Christian is one who has submitted to the ideologies of the kingdom as the ultimate value system of your life. Hallelujah. I'd like you to believe God. Don't say I've come for miracle service before. You see, let me tell you the truth. My assignment as a man of God is not to invite you. My assignment as a man of God is to continue to grow in grace so that the things that would not answer to me in january must answer in june otherwise what is the superiority of growth if the same thing that did not answer to me three months ago refuses to answer now i'm only maintaining my spiritual level i'm not growing there was a time when some spirits did not answer to the apostles they went to jesus asking a question and they said why couldn't we do this he said this kind there is a technology for taking this one out see let me tell you sincerely there is enough grace to wipe the tears in your eyes 
there is enough grace to turn the tables around the anointing works like money i've taught you it can only solve the problems that are lower than it the anointing does not generically solve every problem no no you have to understand this it's very important to know i have let me just still five ten minutes to explain this look at this this is one thousand naira. look at this and if i give you this one thousand naira, it can buy a bottle of water is that true it can even buy you lunch or dinner depending on where you eat but this cannot buy you a car this cannot pay a child's school fees but it is still money so if you want to pay a child's school fees you need more of the same thing to the level that meets the demand every challenge in life has a level of grace attached to it not every grace solves every problem if every grace solves every problem then it doesn't make sense to grow in grace Acts chapter 2 they were filled with the Holy Ghost Acts chapter 4 they were filled with the Holy Ghost again to what end it says that you stretch forth your hands and that miracles signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your holy son there was a dimension of grace requiring a higher level of the anointing Gehazi carried his rod the rod of Elisha and he came and laid it on the dead body the body did not rise but when the prophet came that dead body came back to life every challenge is relative to the grace that confronts it i know men of god have prayed for you they are not fake just because you did not get the result it is a reflection of the extent and the level of grace and god grants the privilege of grace and that's why as men of god we must continue to grow in grace so that what we could not solve yesterday we can now solve tomorrow that is the proof of grace are we together now we are going to pray tonight it's going to be a very quick walk in this place i trust god and i believe that in the name of the lord that things will so change in your life it will surprise you please rise up on your feet lift your voice and begin to mention specifics unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come rise up on your feet and please pray Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh yeah oh yeah yeah say oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah my life around turn my life around tonight turn my ministry around turn my family around is someone praying turn things around hallelujah praise the lord we're going to be very fast i minister by the spirit and the goal is for god to solve people's problems and deal with all the issues that are not of god praise the lord it will be very very fast i'm not sure i may have the time to prophesy tonight because i want us to finish very fast our time is gone but let your heart be open there is a god in heaven please don't be used to your situation if you're a visitor here and you came come insisting that i did not leave where i left to be here only to return back with stories uh-uh 
that is not the God that we serve. Are we together? Hallelujah. There are three people. The power of God is coming on outside. Overflow one. Please, I'd like you to bring them out here. Please, let's start very quickly. We're going to pray. Three people. The power of God is coming upon them right now. Three people. The power of God is coming upon them right now. A very strong anointing. Please bring them very quickly and then, and then we'll pray. And then we'll pray. When you have them, please bring them very quickly. The Lord is already moving. Listen, let me tell you the truth. I want you to believe, believe that God will step in and turn your life around. Hallelujah. Turn your life around. From the back, right to the center, I'm seeing the power of God come on someone now. From the back, right to the center. From the back, right to the center. Please bring them out right now. Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. There is liberty. An end comes to every oppression. An end comes to every oppression. An end comes to every oppression. An angel of the Lord is still standing here. I'm still seeing this road. Right now, it's like smoke just moving across. Right now, from the top to the back. Please bring them out. An end comes. God is stepping in to locate people by His Spirit. Remember the Bible says, Now the Lord is that Spirit. And it says, Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I command every oppression of darkness. I want to pray now. I see fire in this place. This is what I'm seeing. By the spirit of the... And listen. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. That every spirit that is other than the spirit of the Christ. Responsible for any challenge and any predicament. It must let you go now inside and outside online are you ready father let there be deliverance right now one two three shout jesus jesus i cause every power bring them out right now every oppression of darkness it must go now it must go now oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Yahweh, Yahweh. Oh yeah, yeah, say. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Please bring them out quickly. I'm still praying. The Lord is showing me a vision of a padlock in the spirit. I'm seeing a padlock and I'm seeing what looks like a key about to open it at the count of three again you're going to shout that name I see opening opening doors that have been closed are you ready now one two three be open now every closed door be open now be open now be open now close doors over families Close doors over ministries. Close doors over destinies. I decree and declare, be open. Be open now. Bring them out, please. Be open now. Be open now. In the name of Jesus. Overflow one, two, three. Across the road online be free now hallelujah i'm seeing 
I'm seeing like stones in a vision. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm seeing like a strange fire. These are representations of altars. Listen, there are families that have been covenanted to all kinds of ordinances. Fire is about to come from heaven right now. In the name of Jesus, you are ready to shout now. Father, every family here that is under any kind of ordinance, I come tonight with the rod of a higher priesthood. At the count of three, let fire from heaven liberate that family right now. One, two, three. Be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus, we blot out handwritings. We blot out handwritings. Bring them out. I cause altars, yokes of darkness, ordinances, speaking against the people of God. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yahweh. Hey. Oh yeah, yeah, say. Oh yeah, yeah, 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 Yahweh. Oh yeah, yeah, say. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing the hand of God go to the eastern states the eastern states right now God is bringing deliverance the east Abia Anambra state Enugu state Epoi state I'm seeing an anointing right now rest on people within that state let there be liberty right now let there be liberty right now you belong to that state the power of god is coming upon you right now right now even the lawful captives shall be delivered it's a sign and a wonder how god does it i'm seeing the map the east god is bringing liberty hallelujah the lord is showing me the map again i'm seeing an arrow and i'm seeing it Go to Benway, Benway State. Right now, I stretch my hands. Benway, Benway. That anointing, you are from that state. Any ordinance tying your destiny must let you go right now. Must let you go right now. This is by the authority of the kingdom. Benway State. Benway State. Liberation right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. release their destinies right now in the name of Jesus hallelujah I'm seeing fire just within this circumference in front there are two families God wants to set free right now within this circumference I'm seeing fire coming upon them right now bring them out right now by the spirit of grace in the name of Jesus the son of the living God things must change in your life my friend this young man lift your hands where you are there is oil being poured on your head right now right now in the name of Jesus the Lord is removing something that looks like an arrow from your head. Let it go right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let him go now. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Yahweh. Hey. Hallelujah. Fire is still falling here. I'm seeing this deliverance is especially for women. 
an entity comes to molest you in the night you go to bed and a strange spirit just comes right now with the name of Jesus the Lord is asking me to just count two and at the count of two that fire is coming on people right now one two let that fire come now liberation from ordinances of darkness every stranger that comes to manipulate your destiny be free now all those in front here I decree the power that holds you I come by the rod of a higher priesthood at the count of three let them go now one two three go leave them now release their destinies right now let there be restoration everything that has been stolen from hell I command the restoration by the spirit of the living God by the spirit of grace the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty be free right now please open your mouth and begin to pray everything that must live your life insist it must live your life now the angel of the Lord is removing arrows. I'm seeing arrows, arrows coming out of people. That's what I'm seeing. Arrows, 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 arrows right now, right here. Arrows, arrows, go now. Arrows are being removed out of people. In the name of Jesus, Madam, be free right now. Be set free now. The Lord is setting someone free here right now. Someone in this row, I'm seeing fire just resting on someone. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus, everything that has held you bound, be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus, be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Those outside keep praying. Something is resting upon you right now. The Lord asked me to come to overflow one. I want to pray for you. There is an anointing right now. I stretch my hands. Fire from the front to the back. Everyone under any kind of yoke. Right now as I'm passing be free. Be free. Help them please. Out now, release their destinies. Release their destinies now. Hey, Barako Shabranda Kata. Please help them. Whether you are an usher or not, help them. That yoke must let you go now. That yoke must let you go now. I'm passing this road right now. Once I pass you, the anointing of the Holy Ghost is taking everything that is not of God. Release them now. Release their destinies now. Release their destinies now. Let that fire rest upon you right now. Everything that has refused to open, be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Close doors. Be open now. Be open now. Now listen, overflow two. I may not touch you, but in the name of Jesus, I pass your robe. Except God is not God. If there is anything sitting on your destiny, it must let you go. Right now, be free. Be free. I bring you the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Be free now. Open up your gates. Your gates. Gates be open. Destiny be open now. Be open in the name of Jesus. Be open now in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. fire is resting on this road just right there i'm seeing someone the oppression of your family is coming to an end right now i stand by this grace Karis kobaru katosh help her please anyone here anything that is not of god sitting on your destiny right now at the count of three all of you just i'm seeing fire right now 
and I'm seeing chains broken from people's legs right now be be set free now be set free now be set free now be set free now there is a lady here God is saying it is over right now I'm seeing an anointing liberating a lady's family right now help them please whether you're an usher or not please if anybody's falling close to you so they don't injure themselves hallelujah please shift that lady be free now I'm pointing my hands to her I command that devil to leave your family and your destiny now in the name of Jesus Christ begin to pray begin to pray overflow three pray pray overflow three something is about to release your destiny now something is about to release your destiny now something is about to release your destiny now overflow three i came with an anointing at the count of three shout jesus fire is falling from the top to the bottom one two three go 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 now every yoke every altar be free now bring them out whether you are an usher or not bring them out every oppression of darkness right to the back i declare by the anointing of the holy spirit be free now be free now bring them out i'm seeing all kinds of spirits i command every spirit that is not of the christ release god's people right now at the count of three i'm seeing fire resting on people and i'm seeing a number 41 41 people at the count of three shout jesus are you ready one two three shout jesus right now be free by the fire of the holy ghost be free right now every door that has refused to open i open that door right now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah there are 27 people here the grace for speed is coming upon them I don't know who you are but right now the grace for speed I stand by the anointing from the front to the back right now in the name of Jesus receive that anointing right now speed I release speed over your life over your destiny receive speed in the name of Jesus speed in the name of Je hallelujah overflow three hear me there are people here the Lord is telling me no one rises in your family when they get to a level something brings them bow and the Lord is saying I should shift you by prophecy I stand right now I don't know where they are but the anointing of the Holy Ghost is going to come upon you right now in the name of Jesus I'm seeing the number 17 Lord I don't know where they are here but in the name of Jesus I declare move to the next level right now I shift you to the next level right now I shift you to the next level right now hallelujah I'm looking at 14 people here you have the call of God upon your life and right now the anointing of the Holy Ghost is going to locate you 14 people Lord where are they I stretch my hands right now apostles prophets evangelists pastors Deborah's Lord where are they let that man to locate you now the call of destiny that is upon you oh prophet of God may that fire find you in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah there are 15 people here overflow three 
the spirit of revelation is coming on you unusual insight i don't know where they are but right now i'm seeing light not fire light light coming on people 15 people step into a new dimension of the revelatory grace right now in the name of jesus Yahweh, Yahweh. hallelujah praise the lord main auditorium please lift your hands main auditorium lift your hands i'm seeing seven people main auditorium lift your hands i'm seeing seven people the grace for speed i'll pray it on everybody but the main auditorium there is a grace for unusual speed on seven people they will begin to run by the anointing right now please hold them so they don't injure themselves main auditorium i stretch my hands at the count of three like elijah may that grace come one two three receive that grace right now in the main auditorium step into the anointing for speed in the name of jesus overflow three lift your hands every door that has refused to open over your ministry over your life held down by witchcraft in the name that is above all names at the count of three i'm seeing doors open in the spirit one two three let that door be open now be open now be open now the lord wants to avert death over a family this year alone between last year and this year four people have died in your family four people have died and in the name of jesus christ an anointing is coming upon you right now let death be averted now in the name of jesus now listen all of you at overflow three and the extension there whatever must live your life as i'm passing this place please i am releasing my faith open your mouth now and declare lord it must live my life now go ahead go ahead pray please all those in front here the spirit that ties your destiny i command at the count of three let them go now one two three go 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 out of their lives out of their destinies make sure you are praying make sure you are praying the power of god is resting on someone here there's an anointing coming on someone right here in the name of jesus there's an anointing coming on someone here and the lord is saying it comes to an end that family crisis comes to an end the power of god is resting on someone by my left here right now receive that anointing let it go in jesus name Be free right now in Jesus name the power of God is resting on someone here right here I'm seeing an anointing right now it's a prophetic grace there's someone here a prophetic grace is coming upon you right now by my left here in the name of Jesus drink of that anointing drink of that fountain may that grace rest upon your life right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the Lord says it is over over right now by the power of the Holy Spirit look at me my friend the Lord is taking you to a height and a dimension in the spirit I lay my hands on you drink of that grace in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I'm seeing what looks like smoke just this region where I'm where you're looking at me right now there are four people I'm seeing the power of God like a wind just coming on them just this road right now Lord where are they I stretch my hands right now right now the power of the Holy Ghost is coming on those people and the Lord is saying it is over he's taking away captivity four of you by the Spirit of grace let it be over right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus there is a family here 
marriage does not happen in that family but i'm seeing fire rest right now the embargo is being broken now the embargo is being broken whoever those people are an anointing is coming on you now for the sake of your family that yoke of marital delay is breaking right now is breaking right now in the name of jesus please lift your voice and pray everybody pray in the spirit pray in the spirit there is one of you among those standing here there is a call of god upon your life an anointing is coming upon you you will be mightily used by god where is that person spirit of the living god the hand of god just near the gate here the power of god is coming upon that person right now a new dimension in the spirit the eyes that see and the ears that hear may you step into that level in the spirit in the name of jesus christ my friend touch this gentleman for me lift your hands i stretch my hands over you i command i'm seeing chains all over your body i command those chains to give way now in the name of jesus release him now let him go now by the power of the holy ghost i cut those chains i'm seeing chains from your head to your toe let me pray for those here please all of you are here i'm the lord is opening my eyes and from here to the fence i'm seeing snakes and i'm seeing five people there is a major deliverance that is coming for a family right now in the name of jesus may the anointing of the holy spirit locate those ones now five of you right now these spirits my god my god i'm seeing something living right now release them now release no matter how long release them now it is written that even the lawful captive shall be delivered i declare emancipation now by the spirit of the living god You are a gala. I want to pray for you. Are you alone? If you came here alone, what do you do? I want to pray for you. The spirit of death is upon you. And the Lord is saying I should pray for you. So that those dreams you used to have, seeing dead people, is that true? You have dreams and... Too much, yes. The Lord is saying that you are going to be free from it right now. I declare in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, in the... There is there is someone here Hi. academic delay over your family is breaking right now i just please don't be carried away acting this thing i shunnedly to help people experience god i'm praying i don't know where that family is but now scattered in this congregation i stretch my hands let the anointing of the holy spirit family right now I'm seeing a family here none of you has a job none of you there are even a few graduates but nobody at all it's like the doors of jobs don't open right now you're going to sense fire come up your hands real physical fire and the Lord is saying by that help them by that that embargo is broken Lord I I declare right now let the anointing of the Holy Spirit rest upon those people and bring emancipation everyone lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit Please begin to pray in the spirit. Don't say you are not inside. God can locate you from any direction. God can locate you from any direction. Bring me this lady, please. In the name of Jesus Christ, delay ends in your life. I stretch my hands and I pray. Delay, help her. The Lord is taking away witchcraft from this family. I command that devil, go now. See, it doesn't matter whether you are inside or outside just release your faith in the name of Jesus be free right now be free right now my friend the call of God is upon your life there is, that is coming upon you it's a healing anointing I stretch my hands may that grace begin to work effectually now step into that grace in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now listen among all of you from here to here the grace for speed is coming on two people listen those two people will start running now please hold them hold them so they don't enjoy themselves that anointing right now all across two you can control yourself hold them please whether you're an usher i release that grace speed two people strange speed god is ending delay right now in the name of jesus christ 
in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing two of you a prophetic anointing you are not prophets but you have been desiring this grace the grace to see from here right to where that lady with the veil is I don't know where they are but I stretch my hands may that anointing find you right now accuracy of sight and ay, 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 ay. Salus Caprakatos Keprandigata. Help them, help them, please. Help them, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. An angel of the Lord is taking away reproach. There is a family here. The Lord is saying the captivity ends now. An anointing is coming upon you right now. It's now in the name of Jesus someone here is it your sister has been trusting God for the fruit of the womb who is that listen where where is she at home what of you come how long who has had three miscarriages? She did. Three miscarriages. Go and tell her she will have a baby girl. That the Lord is giving her a baby girl. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you both. In the name of Jesus, let it come to an end right now. Let that captivity come to an end. In the name of Jesus, there's someone here, your family has a court What case? Who is that, please? God case don't make sure you don't tell us please they want to kill you because of what what did you do what did you do hold on I have to where are you from where is that I have to pray for you you have bad friends hold on let me talk to you eh you have very bad friends bad friends you need to be delivered this is not even your whole life huh you know what i'm saying right you need to repent eh? listen when i make an altar call run and come because the real salvation is you it's not the issue of court case of this you you have friends that are criminals and we have to pray you hear what i'm saying god is locating you to help you listen let me tell you my dear people i mean when god locates us like this is because he wants to help Thing. there's somebody here your name is Sarah where is that person Sarah hold on please don't don't let me just prophesy I, I my heart is full God wants to visit people stand up who is Sarah where are you from huh where are you from no no where state of origin I want to pray for you who is Godia yeah. Go dear. The Lord wants to visit you right now. Acting God truly wants to change your life. Yeah. I want to pray for you. Whose mother is in the hospital? I'm seeing someone's mother lying down in the hospital here. Your mom? come I'm seeing that down in Portacot what uh, yes I Portacot you came from Portacot yes. go on I'm going to pray for, do I know you I've never seen you I want to pray for you God is turning your situation this as you're standing let your heart be open your people may be far don't ever think I'm just because I come outside like this to encourage you to let you know that you must not make it inside where are we together the power of God is going to come upon you a loud shout that will be the person I'll prophesy to right now in just those outside here it's not something you can stand this is a sign and a wonder from the Spirit of God that's not the shout the shout is coming it's a loud shout please bring the person when that happens that's the shout bring the person in the name of Jesus Christ 
my friend lift your hands Jesus come do you what are you doing what do you do of God your own church you are assisting someone you came here not just to receive a miracle for your mother but you came to take fire stand up why you came listen to me you are going to go back and you will step into a dimension signs and wonders that will surprise you Sarah in the name that is above all names every oppression over your family I come against it right now I'm still hearing that name Godia who is that hold on please hold on where are you from huh you are from Kat Saminaka hold on please your sister blood sister same father same mother you've been praying for God to locate you it's okay you hi the spirit of death is over your family huh? that's what I'm saying I'm seeing you dreaming and dreaming of dead people they will come and they are calling you sometimes they are saying you should eat together this is the spirit of death coming on the family but in the name of Jesus I use them as a point of contact if there is anybody under the sound of my voice that the spirit of death is coming upon you helper I cut spirit now name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a family money does not stay in your house no matter what happens once resources enter you love God but resources something must happen either sickness or they will steal it or something will come up I'm seeing what looks like a blue flame and it's resting on at least five people and the Lord is saying an end comes to financial hardship father where are they right now I stretch my hands let that anointing locate you right now in the name of Jesus Christ please lift your voice and begin to pray my friend your hands shout Jesus as loud as you can an end comes now in the name of Jesus Christ please lift your voice and pray in the spirit everyone my dear look at me I command that spirit to leave you now of darkness must let you go in Jesus name lift your voice and pray everyone please pray pray in the spirit pray in the spirit please pray in the spirit pray in the spirit everyone madam help this woman so that she doesn't fall with it I command everything that is not of God to let you go now release this woman's destiny now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus oppression leaves right now someone here there is a spirit that has oppressed your family it must go now I command that devil of darkness help her please that spirit must leave now in the name of Jesus please everyone pray in the spirit everyone pray in the spirit God is visiting us right now one media person here there is an anointing resting on someone the Lord is bringing to end the captivity on your family I'm seeing it by the Spirit of God captivity coming to an end in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus let it end now by the Spirit of the Living God let it end now in the name of Jesus my friend I'm seeing what what looks like a towel on you and the Lord is wiping away infirmity in the name of Jesus infirmity let it go right now please make sure you are praying in the name of Jesus the son of the living God the spirit of death there is a family here that spirit must go now the spirit of death release them now in the name of Jesus release them now release them now the spirit of death there will be no obituary I command that devil to go now madam excuse me madam look at me come are you a man of God come you too Please come. I don't know you. Where are you coming from, sir? 
Where do you, what do you have to do with Adamawa? Is it Anambra? Huh? Who is from Anambra? Me, from Anambra State. You came all the way. Ah. There is a grace to see that God is going to be delivering to you. Number two, there is speed in ministry. That God, I don't know you, sir. I've not seen you. You're, you're together. You're a man of God, too. You're a man of God. You're a ministry. Can I pray for you, sir? Because I'm seeing this anointing, strange anointing come on you. You will go back and it's going to be fire all the way. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this man of God. Step into that grace in the name of Jesus. The anointing of the Holy Spirit, you will never be the same. Can I pray for you, sir? By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, drink of this wine, you will never be the same. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Mommy, let me pray for you. Hold on, please. Please stand up. Stand up. Who is Jennifer? Jennifer. 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 The Lord is visiting. The Jennifer I'm seeing, you are outside. You are holding a child. Jennifer. Jennifer. Is there someone like that? Oh, please oh, confirm. I, what's your name? They always confirm before you allow Jennifer, them. Sir. Jennifer. Is this your child? Yes, sir. Where are you coming from? From this is my state. Huh? From GRA. No, no. Where, where are you coming? Kaduna State. Kaduna State. Yes. I want to pray for you. So that the spirit that makes marriages to not work in your family will not catch up with you. Does Amen. it make sense what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Well, this boy has a great destiny. Forget about whatever it is that has happened or not happened. I want to pray for you. The Lord located you to bless you. What's his name? Fortune. 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 Yes, I will pray for you. Mama, where are you coming from? I came from Togo. You came from Togo? Yes, just yesterday. Just yesterday? Yes. What are you trusting God for? Oh, my daughter in America. She's the one that sent me to you. She has been seeing you in her dream. You have done so many things for her in the dream. Then she said that I must come. So that through me, you will not get her. She's asking for contract. That is contract that she's seeking for. She... Just calm down, madam. You came all the way from Togo. Yes, sir. Let me tell you what God will do in your life. First, not even just your daughter. Eh? <laughs> Leave your daughter's issue. God is going to bring your daughter but it's you first that back pain huh? that back pain that you have you get up in the morning and there's severe back pain that back pain will leave you now that's number one number two the dead people you see in your dream huh? sometimes you go to bed and you see dead people, people who have died but they are alive talking to you i need to pray for you and then number three god is going to visit your daughter tell her the month of august is a month of breakthrough in the name of Jesus, be free right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Why are they here, please? Sir? You are a teacher. Did you apply for a job? Yes. Where? Uh, uh, International. Because I'm seeing a letter and I'm seeing congratulations. It, hold on. Ah, you are a teacher. Yes, sir. Where? With uh, KHMS. What is Dambo International? It's a school. Did I you know. apply there? Yes. Like I'm seeing that they are going to give you a job. Huh? I will pray for you, sir. Because this teaching you are doing is only for a while. There is a grace of entrepreneurship upon you. And that grace is going to come and God will shift you to a dimension. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. How many children do you have? One. Just one. Yes, sir. I have one outside. No, hold on. Don't be embarrassed, eh? I'm seeing one child, then the vision changes, and I'm seeing two again. Huh? You have one, you have two. What is the mystery? Explain. Before I married her, I have a son outside. Okay, before you married her, you have a child. The, yes, sir. Okay, I want to pray. Don't, don't make sure you treat the child with honor and grace. All the children that came out from you, are great children you understand please don't fight that child eh, madam you hear what i'm telling you yes i know that we live in a, a society that sometimes all kinds of troubles can come but may god grant you the grace to manage things well sir there is a grace of wealth that is upon you please look at me 
it looks like you are a teacher but your destiny is not a teacher you are a real kingdom financier and there is a grace for finances that should come upon you please look at me you see this woman she's a good woman don't ever let the devil use the face of any devil and use her face to make it look as if this is an evil woman and don't let any prophet anywhere tell you this woman is a witch in the name of jesus i tell you god gave you a good woman she's a good woman madam you're a good woman in the name of jesus let me pray for you sir please hold my hands in the name that is above all names i open up every closed door over your life and destiny i shift you to that realm of wealth in jesus name the person look up please the person who comes to molest you when you sleep it comes to an end now in the name of jesus every fraternity with darkness is gone now and gone forever in the name of jesus i don't know why why are they here who is sarah are you married we are not more together huh I have two children, but we are not together with you. You are father. not together with your husband. Yes. Were you married? No. This is what I'm saying. Come. You need to be delivered, eh? If not, I'm seeing four children. You will add two more, and yet you are not married. I'm not. I hope you are not feeling bad. I hope you are not embarrassed. God reveals so that He can redeem, eh? You are not a bad woman. You are not an immoral woman. It's a spirit. You hear what I'm saying? Come, let me pray for you. The power of God is coming on one of you here. One of you standing here now. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is coming on one right now. It's not something you can resist. I'm, just, I'm seeing it in the spirit that the power of God is going to come upon one of you. And when that happens, then I'm going to prophesy to that one person. Right now, it's an anointing from heaven that is coming upon one of you here. And the Lord is saying that he's taking away sickness from the midst of you. Taking away sickness. My dear, in the name of Jesus, is it the same man that has the children? Yes. Huh? Yes. Why doesn't he want to marry you? He didn't pay for my dowry. He didn't pay for your dowry? Yes. Go and tell him that I said he should pay for your dowry. Huh? Dowry is not building project. He should pay for your dowry and give these children a chance. Please. At this level, it's no longer about their comfort. The children need a father. May God grant him grace and give him money to pay your dowry and be a good man in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing written in the air, polygamy. God is breaking that spirit now. No, 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 just please just keep quiet. I'm ministering. There is a spirit of polygamy. Everybody in that family, you can't do with one man alone or one woman alone. That anointing is locating people right now. To break the spirit is a covenant it's not a desire coincidences continue to put themselves together to lead people to trouble right now that spirit please help them in the name of Jesus inside outside everywhere the spirit of polygamy is being broken right now the spirit of polygamy is being broken right now sir let me pray for you where are you coming from sir Port Harcourt what do you do business you do business but things are not going well huh if i don't pray for you i'm seeing you in the court because of money debt huh i hope you're not embarrassed you came here so that i pray for you what are you trusting god for i'm trusting god for breakthrough in my business breakthrough in your business first my wife, your my wife um, has listened to your tape for about seven days now and the last dream she had you came to pray for her and she insisted that you come through the night today I will pray for you more than business breakthrough sir is your relationship with god do you understand please don't be embarrassed but your relationship with god in this kingdom we prosper as our souls prosper not at the detriment of our soul so that there's, there's too much spiritual distraction around your life i pray that god will cause your heart to love him more than money in the name of jesus and that in so doing he will bless you and lift you I decree and declare i don't know why all of you came but in the name of jesus i declare that everything that is not of god leaves you right now where is this lady from come where are you from i'm from nesara state you are from where nesara how many are you 
I'm from extended family. We are many. Plenty. You are plenty. Yes. You don't know how many. Yes, but oh. in my mother's side, we are eight. Two have gone. We are six now. Are you married? No. The man coming around your life, I drive him from your life now and forever. Amen. Amen. You hear what I'm saying? Yes. The man that I'm seeing, I drive him in the name of Jesus, the Son Amen. of the Living God. He will go back and you'll be surprised. He will tell you there's no time. He cannot call you. He's busy. Just know that God drove him from your life to save you from trouble. Are you ready for a child now? So you have to be careful. Huh? I send him again in the name of Jesus Christ before he destroys your innocent life. What do you do? I'm learning salon. Huh? I'm learning salon. You are, I'm not here. I'm learning salon. Hairdressing. Yes, sir. I have to pray for you. Come. Huh? I place favor on your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. May the Lord help you in the name of Jesus Christ. We're going to pray for the sick shortly, but the Lord is showing me a very serious vision. I'm looking at people, but I'm not seeing a face. And this is not the first time I see these kinds of vision. The moment I see these kind of things is a sign that, you know, the devil has just tried to tarnish the glory of people. The Bible says to not let your good be evil spoken of. There, there is a way that you are good, but it's like people continue to misunderstand you. Right now, in the name of Jesus, Sakato I stretch my hands. I'm seeing an anointing coming on those people. That veil that covers your face, always putting you in trouble. I tear off that veil now in the name of Jesus. hallelujah praise the lord our time is gone we have to be fast now please listen very carefully god is touching everyone every single one under the sound of my voice three things will happen right now number one make sure you are here with your prayer request if you're not here with it please pen down it's an act of faith very quickly what you're trusting god for lift it up let the ushers have it number two we're going to minister to the sick right now. We'll do it very, very fast. And then I'll pray on it and we'll prophesy open doors for everyone. We have to make this very, very fast. Are we together? While you're doing that, please be praying in the spirit. There are people here who are trusting God for themselves and their families. Please listen. Let's listen outside, inside. Let's listen to the instruction. Please. All those who are standing, trusting God for fruit of the womb. Whether you are in overflow, one, two, three, I want to pray for you myself. Are we together? Particularly for those trusting God for the fruit of the womb. And, but then aside from that, um, overflow one, please listen. Listen. From the start of overflow two, that means the end of CGC. And inside here, that's overflow two. Um, overflow three is from the end of CGC down to second equa. Okay, you are overflow 2B. Let's call it 2B. Are we together? Then, the overflow from the beginning of this fence, down, right down there, we'll call you overflow 2C. Please listen. Then there's overflow 3. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. This is the main auditorium. This is overflow 1. This is overflow 2. Then, from this place down to second equa is overflow 2b from that same place down is overflow 2c so that so that you would know if you are trusting god no matter what overflow for the fruit of the womb i'll pray for you but then all who are in here overflow one i mean overflow here please you're trusting god for healing come stand here overflow one come and stand in front of your projector stand overflow two stand in front of your projector stand overflow 2a Please create a space for them there. Overflow 2A, create a space for them there. And then overflow 2C, stand in front of your projector stand. And then overflow 3, you can stand in, um, in front of your projector stand. Those online, connect by faith. And then we'll pray, we'll pray with you. We're going to do this very fast. We thank God there are many hands today. And while they minister to you, I would like you to believe God for a miracle. You are a man of God. You are a ministry here. Open up your heart and connect. You are trusting God for the grace, for signs, wonders. Make sure that you connect. 
the worship team will be leading us through powerful sessions of worship while we do that and concurrently while that is happening please make sure you submit your prayer request everyone make sure you pen down your prayer request and then we are going to pray on it and let the God of heaven visit us right now in the name of Jesus praise the Lord um, Ejimi and Promise and Bishop Manasseh. Ejimi and Promise and Bishop Manasseh will do Overflow 3. There are quite a number of people there. Overflow 3. Um, Benga will do Overflow 2. Overflow 2. Pastor Alpha and Ima. You do Overflow 1. Um, overflow 1. We need a way of reaching Overflow Kenny Kenny will do overflow 2B overflow 2B will do overflow 2B and then Isaac Isaac in media you will do overflow 2C let's make it that way praise the Lord Father we stand under this corporate grace and we decree and declare in the name of Jesus that as we minister to everyone across let your healing power touch deliver set free in the name of jesus do this and be glorified even by the power of the holy spirit please we'll do it very very fast and while you are seated make sure you are agreeing releasing your faith in the name of jesus madam you lift lift your hands you this woman no the one wearing blue and white yes lift your hand I'm seeing oil coming on your head and the Lord is saying he's taking away reproach and he's lifting you this is what I'm seeing an anointing is coming on you right now and the Lord is saying he's taking away reproach and he's bringing an oil of gladness upon your life in the name of Jesus father let there be miracles signs wonders in the name of Jesus Christ amen Let's stretch your hands to the prayer request. Begin to pray in the spirit. Lord, you are the God that answers prayers. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Pray over these requests. Is that these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. There is a covenant of answered prayer in this place. Lift your voice and pray. Father, I decree and I declare. I prophesy, I proclaim by the spirit of grace that this is a representation of the pain of people, a representation of their hunger. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, are you praying? Decree and declare that everything written here in the name of Jesus will become a testimony. Everything written here, we invoke the power of the Holy Ghost upon every request here supernatural deliveries terminations of delay open doors new spiritual dimensions in the name of jesus admissions graduations jobs marriages children restoration advancement promotion in the name that is above all names we decree and declare Make sure you are praying. Make your declaration. These that are brought before the God of all flesh will never, never, never return as a disappointment. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. Those online joining us from all over the world, connect in the name of Jesus. From America to Asia, the UK, Canada, everywhere, we decree and declare that your requests are turned into testimonies in the mighty name of jesus christ listen i want you to understand that this is not a ritual this is a mystery are we together now there are all kinds of testimonies that have come i can prophesy and there is so much i can be limited i cannot discern everybody's expectation but this is a representation of your hunger is a representation of your tears and let me tell you this please don't get familiar with this this is not some some spiritual thing just for the fun of it there is power in what we're doing 
is guided by understanding is guided by an anointing and God has a covenant is protected by his jealousy in the name of Jesus Paul said for this cause I Paul bow my knees before the father of our Lord Jesus Christ that he may grant unto you in the name of Jesus I declare upon you that the Egyptians you see today that you will see them no more forever in the name of Jesus every request here that is a death sentence cancer HIV and any kind of incurable disease we turn it around right now in the name of Jesus every impossible situation represented here may the God of wonders arise tonight in the name of Jesus and do wonders by the power of the Holy Ghost for those of you who have submitted these requests on behalf of your loved ones I declare may the angel of God's presence these angels that do not know time and distance may they go to your various homes and to your loved ones and birth supernatural solutions in the name of Jesus Christ we decree and declare that you remain above this challenge forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I declare over your life we're entering the second half of the year it says revive thy work O God in the midst of the year I decree and declare every spiritual weariness every prayerlessness it dies right now in the name of Jesus passion for the things of the spirit like never before hunger for spiritual things in the name of Jesus I declare prayer fire like never before let it rest upon your life now I decree and declare an appetite for God and the things of God I declare you receive it right now I pray over your life every long-standing issue you have prayed you have fasted you have sought counsel it has refused to change in the name that is above all names i decree and declare by this time next month return with your testimony by this time next month return with your testimony please believe it don't just shout amen believe it I come against patterns you have seen it in others you saw it in your father you saw it in your loved ones you saw it in your siblings now it's beginning to happen by the blood of the eternal covenant I cancel every pattern now I cancel every pattern now it works for everybody until it gets to your turn then something happens you will see it but you never possess it i declare right now that spirit that makes you to see things and never step into it is caused by the god of heaven caused by the god of heaven everything that was given to you in the realm of the spirit already i declare by the power that raised christ from the dead this month coming it must enter your hands I declare that it must enter your hands there are families where is the women that feed the men have you seen such families no matter how hard-working the men are they never feed the family they get up in the morning and play draft from morning till night while the women go to fend it's an anomaly i declare by the spirit of god i'm praying for the men now the grace for establishment and the grace to be satisfied early receive that anointing right now it says satisfy me early i'm saying it again everybody here who is a man and it looks like the devil wants you to depend on people for the rest of your life. I decree and declare 
like Jacob, Laban must let you go in the name of Jesus. I pray for every Mordecai here. You have been good to others. You have been good to kings. Your records have been written, but you have not been rewarded. In this season, by the Spirit of God, we open a book of remembrance. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Anyone here called jobless by the God of heaven between now and the next three months like the ark of God in the house of Obed Edom I decree and declare jobs that will be consolations to your years of pain may my God give it to you. Every dying business Hear the word of the Lord. I don't care what has happened. By the spirit that raised Christ from the dead, I speak to you, come back to life now. Come back to life now. Everyone who is in ministry here, no matter what level there are dimensions, I pray for you. You will go back to your various churches, fellowships and assemblies and a dimension of fire a dimension of insight you have never seen receive in the name of Jesus everyone here called barren by the God of heaven in the name of Jesus according to the time of life return with your children these are not empty prophecies believe them if you are backed up by the jealousy of God they will come to pass in the name of Jesus. I don't know where the helpers of your destiny are. But in the name of Jesus. Every man who must arise in this season for your sake. To favor you. Wherever they are around this globe. By the spirit of grace. I call them to your life now. I call them to your life now. The Bible says that strangers shall feed your flock. It says your gates shall be open continually. It shall not be shut day nor night that you will receive the forces of the Gentiles. People you do not know, I compel them to be interested in your lifting. In the name of Jesus Christ. I prayed a prayer like this one time and one of us God just opened a door and a bank met him to sell a property for them what 450 million naira listen it doesn't take time it doesn't take time there is the creative dimension of prophecy that can order things in your life every area of struggle I stand by the God of heaven who is called Ebenezer, the God of Jeshurun. In the name of Jesus, receive help from the Lord. I want to pray for people who have ideas and have projects, but it seems to never go out of the book. You have ideas, you have projects, it's just to connect you with somebody who has the interest nobody helps you on their own they are called by prophecy in the name of Jesus right now I connect your ideas to your helpers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I forgot to pray for those who are in various institutions writing their exams I know that many people had started their exams some have written and the honest truth is that some of you have written nonsense you need the mercy of God in the name that is above all names much more than what you have written in the name of Jesus may the mercy of God show up in your exam
there is a dimension of finances that comes by prophecy please pay attention our time is gone but i want to speak this into your life there are people who are not very smart the prophetic dimension is not a license to not be valuable the prophetic dimension is a system of advantage to bridge tragedy while you learn it's a system of god's mercy it will be foolish to believe that wealth is only by principles there are laws and there are irrefutable principles that make for the foundation but there is the ordinance of prophecy in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God the God who has helped me by his grace the God who has helped this ministry I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit between now and the end of July may your finances turn around in a way that will surprise you may your finances turn around in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for those who are under any kind of project building project whatever it is the hand that started that project is the same hand that must finish that project in the name of Jesus Christ everyone here due for promotion but has been kept because of the wickedness and the sentiments of men go back into your next level in the mighty name of Jesus Christ finally I want to pray for you honor is the ability to discern to celebrate and to reward a man for his uniqueness it's not enough for your value to be discerned you must live a rewarded life you will be frustrated if you do not live a rewarded life I pray for you the eyes that can perceive and can discern your value I connect you to those eyes in the name of Jesus. Any pit you have found yourself in, I must pray this. Financially, whatever it is, you have found yourself in a situation where only God can bring you out. May that God you believe in bring you out of it now. In the name of Jesus finally I want to prophesy again the grace for this year's prophetic word the Lord declared that is a year of extraordinary fruitfulness every part of that prophecy that is yet to speak in your life by the force of right words and by the power of the no the name that is above all names I declare to you may your life experience extraordinary fruitfulness in the name of jesus christ may you return with testimonies some of you this night before you get to your homes your phones you will see text messages that are full of wonders in the name of jesus christ Father, we give you all the praise. We bless you because you have honored this house. You have made it a place of answers. You have made it a place of strange testimonies. Let everything that you have done tonight by your spirit return as testimonies. Let it not just be a ceremony. In the name of Jesus, we declare by the spirit of the Christ, testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Now, very quickly, I will make an altar call and then we'll take a few very important announcements and we're done. Apologize, our time is gone. You are here in this place. Please, let's minimize movement, especially outside. You are here and you are saying, Apostle, I've not given my heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. I need to encounter his salvation and his mercy. Please listen. Or you are here, you are saying, Man of God, I've seen the wonders. I once gave my heart to the Lord, but as it is right now, I need mercy, I need grace. I need to start afresh. You are here, 
inside overflow one two three and all the other annexes i want to give you five minutes you want to make it right with jesus wherever you are i want you to leave your seat very boldly and come and stand right here it'll be my joy to lead you to jesus christ don't wait for someone be the first i'll count one to five wherever you are please start running clear the way for them please outside one quickly quickly please if you're coming run quickly run to jesus two win that war today win that war today win that war today the bible says in the day that you hear his voice do not harden your heart as they did in the provocation in the wilderness three someone is still coming apostle i'm not sure if i'm born again or not join them very quickly join them very quickly i expect people to come from outside please clear the way for those coming from outside clear the way for those coming from outside overflow one two three if you're coming don't be sluggish run very quickly we're out of time run quickly run quickly we're out of time apostle i want to come but i'm ashamed and afraid of my colleagues and contemporaries jesus said if you are ashamed of me before men i will be ashamed of you before my father come quickly come quickly come quickly come quickly give them a big god bless you whilst they come takes a lot of courage but win that war young and old run to jesus the bible says ye must be born again <laughs> hallelujah praise the lord i want to salute all of you thank you so much for coming to make this decision lift your right hand high to heaven and say this after me you're not reciting a poem this is from the depth of your heart jesus is here say after me lord jesus I believe in you that you are the son of God I have seen your wonders and I declare that I need you this night I declare that you are my Lord you are my Savior you are my King I receive your life I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and I declare that I reign in life. I am a child of God. I'm changed forever. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Jesus, I present to you the ones you died for. I thank you because when you hung on that cross, they were worth your blood. They were worth the tears. They were worth the death. I pray in the name of Jesus, according to scripture, your sins are forgiven. And the grace to walk in victory is released upon you right now in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare forever you go from glory to glory even by the Spirit of God everything that is not of God I come against it right now the grace to live victorious is released upon you from today you go forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen I congratulate you I salute you very quickly everyone in concert I want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands and you have a few people just welcome you on our behalf. God bless you very quickly. Let's honor them. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share it to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin.